everybody. Welcome to the <laughs> SM show, the Sam and Ming show, broadcasting live at the home at the at the, at the home with comic book men. Yeah. Jerry and Solomon Bob Secret yeah. Stash. My name is Ming Chen. And and I'm back for a second week in a row here. Wow. I know. It's, I got, it's been two weeks and, and you haven't replaced me again. I yet. think I'll keep you. Ah. That's I think so, I'll keep you. That's so cute. I know. Huh. I think I'll, I'll think, I'm like, you know. I'm like a stray. I, I think you did all right. Ah, thank you I, so you're much. You're doing all right. Um, you know, you've you passed every test. You, you continue to show up even though I'm here. Oh, well, you know. Yeah. It's uh, it's it's, yeah, well, it's you know that's the true test right there. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Keep sorry, sure. I was I was like mildly distracted by somebody tweeted in that she tried yes. pumpkin beer. Yes. And I said which one? And she said it was the only one I could find in the UK, and it was pumpkin. Oh god, um, Southern by, Tier pumpkin. No, but it wasn't by uh, Southern Tier. It was by like White Witch Witchwood or something. I was like bootleg. I have pumpkin? no idea. I mean, I guess I it's guess the, it's like a popular name to name a pumpkin beer pumpkin. The word pumpkin is only trademarked in America, maybe. Maybe. Or maybe it's like a Chinese beer. I it's don't kinda know. Like, kinda I kind of want to try this beer though, and compare it to the pumpkin that I know and love. So, like, I'm gonna have to look into and see which one's better. Yeah. Wasn't beer invented in in uh, over there? I don't know where beer was invented. I mean, I imagine because they were a country before us. Like, I imagine most things were, you know. I well, I heard a story. I went on a brewery tour this week. Okay. I don't know if the story's accurate. Which said, uh, you know, back in the old days, people, uh, you know, uh, they would collect grain to eat. They didn't have yeah. much food. They were yeah. collect grain, well, yeah. put them in jars, and one day uh, someone left a jar out and it rained. Grain got all wet. You know, the jar filled up with water. And it just kind of got left out there for, for a while. And one day some dude walked by and he was like, oh, it looks nasty, but I'm going to drink it just to this, see what it this tastes This sounds like. false. Okay, well, let's just... I- I'm going to say false on this one. Okay, and <laughs> we haven't started playing a game yet, but I'm gonna I'm gonna say yeah. False. We're gonna play. We're playing truth or false today. Tr- truth gotta, or false? Yeah, I got a little game for you. Today. Truth or false? About like true or false? Truth or dare today? Truth or dare? Truth or dare? Okay. So anyways, uh, you wanted by. I was like, oh, this looks nasty, but I'm gonna take a, a swig. Why not? Take a swig. He's like, whoa, this makes me feel pretty good. I'm gonna take another. Takes a bunch of sips, makes it feel real good. Shares it in the village. And that's how beer was invented. And that is how beer was invented. And that was how beer was invented. Oh, well, there you Sounds go. Sounds plausible, right? Um. I mean, how, why? You think they went went right to like, uh, you know, fermentation tanks and and mash and hops? I I don't know. Like, I don't know. Sounds good to me. I, I don't know. I I just don't know the the logic of like walking by some like old vat that's been like sitting outside. Like that looks disgusting, but I'm gonna drink it anyway. Like, so the person who invented beer was like basically like a fucking psychopath. Well, how do you think? Um. Like, okay, just strictly speaking, when you walk out on a rainy day, do you look at the garbage outside Surf Taco and be like, that looks gross, but I'm going to drink no, it anyway. but I know it's gross. It, back in whatever, 1500 smell, BC. gross. I don't have anything else to eat or drink. Why not? I mean, I guess. I, no, I, I, I mean, guess. Don't, you, don't you ever think about the first dude who ate an oyster? Or... I mean, yeah, I guess. Or the dude who invented a hamburger. Like, or oh, or little... the people who invented sex. Right. Like, how did that come up? Right. Uh, there's actually a very good s- episode of Smodcast about that. Uh, episode four, I believe it yeah. is. Yeah. Uh, Nuck Nuck. Uh, episode's called, like, Nuck Nuck and something else. I yeah. can't remember. Yes. It's a whole hour. Devoted. I just, like, I, I really, like, I, I actually do want to know, like, you know, when, when, when was that moment where guys realize that they have, like, this elongated thing that becomes hard, and when girls realize, like, oh, I got a hole in me, this kind of works out, like, you know. Perfectly. I got two holes. Yeah, like, three. <laughs> I mean, you know. I mean, well, more than three. Well, yes. your mouth. Yes. You know. There's more than that, actually. But, yeah, well, you know. Yeah. That, those for Japanese freaks, though. Yeah, well. Not like, no, not like not normal, like, well-adjusted people. Not like normal people. people. Like not yeah. like, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm normal. Yeah, like you. Definitely normal like and well-adjusted. So, so we let's are, start the show. Yes, we are, we are live. <laughs> uh, you can tweet us right now. You can uh, ask questions. You can enter comments. You demand things. You can bitch. Well, that's what we usually get a lot of. Yeah. I feel like this week just had so much more bitching. A lot of bitching. I think God. Uh, I think the bitch quotient goes up the more the more active I am, the more uh, stuff maybe, I do. Maybe. Maybe. Or the more stuff we do. If you do something people yeah. bitch about, if I do something people bitch or about. Or if you it. like post something about me, yes. like people just go fucking wild. Like, oh my god, why is Ming Chen on Twitter? Yes. You know, with somebody it's not bitch, his bitch, wife. Bitch, 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 yeah. bitch, bitch, yeah. bitch, bitch, oh, bitch, bitch. How many Christ. bitches is that? God, like it was just it was so much this week. I was just, it too much? No, it wasn't too much. It no, was it's just, never too much. It's fun. Well, I mean, like I was really enjoying actually I was really enjoying you on Instagram this okay. week. Um because 
obviously you can read people's comments yes. a little easier. Instagram.com slash Ming Chen 37. Yes. And uh, I'm uh, Instagram at Sam Quintus. Yes. But on um, Twitter, which you can tweet us at, yes. I'm at Ming Chen 37 as well. <laughs> and I'm at the Zen Librarian, which funny story about that. I okay. was actually followed by two different library organizations this week. Really? And I noticed that I was unfollowed by both of them almost immediately. <laughs> and whenever I see somebody that has like librarian in their name, I always want to just like tweet yes. them or like direct message them and be like, not Without that kind doubt, of librarian 100%. anymore. Uh, okay. You're probably not going to like my Twitter feed because it has absolutely nothing to do with the Dewey Decimal System. And then they anymore. did it. Yeah, and then like almost immediately, like I tweeted something and they were like, fuck no, unfollow. Yeah. <laughs> it's like really like fail out quickly. I have so, a beautiful uh, cock. I want, yeah, I want I to be seen. I always appreciate your uh, Instagram when you're on the road. Sure. Because you can read the comments and like people like bitching with each other. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you have like, you know, the vigilantes who like really try to defend the shit There's out of you. Thank you very much. Yeah, and, they, and then they ball. like right. get into altercations with these other assholes that are on there. Oh, it's, it's like hysterical. Oh, yeah. It's a whole show. It's, yeah, it really is. It's, it's a whole show. You do like a whole thing based on. Um, uh, should I go get you some fucking green I can write, write a book. You should. I'm a no man. No Hey kid, no. come here and fucking yeah. take no, your clothes. No one off. It's true. Well, it's your box. It's true. I just put a post up, you know, where, uh, it was a picture like of it's me hamster you. food. Yeah. And, uh, You're you right. Know, SM show live six thirty. You're right. The thirty East Coast Podcast dot com slash sir. What you're listening to right now. Yes. And what you're tweeting about, you're like, no one cares. Well, like, what's, you don't funny, care. what's funny is... Why are you replying to this? It's like, oh, God, he replies to everything. And it's funny, too, because a few weeks ago, like, I checked it. I don't think he followed me at that time. I was like, how does this guy always fucking comment I no when I post something if like he doesn't drug. follow me? Like, what kind of life do you have, bud, that, like, you're checking my Twitter? But I see now that he has, he is following me. Yeah, I think, and, uh, I think he cares. And uh, he is, like, probably one of the most annoying people, but sometimes he posts, like, a real fucking... Uh, he posted one. Um, so he has his moment. Yeah, he he, he posted one a few. Uh, oh, he posted. Uh, this is uh, Kev Steve, underscore emo. He, oh uh, yes. He put maybe today's the day I'll listen, and then he posted a thing from uh, from Picture Perfect that says, "But then again, maybe." Or, but then I think better not. A real funny guy. Funny guy. Yeah, real real like a, funny like a, guy. <laughs> like a clown, he's here to amuse yes. you. Yes. So, what are we drinking today? We are drinking. Uh, you bought the beer today. I did. Because Thank you very much. I- I've been looking for a different beer, and I've been kind of slightly going mad because I can't find Which it. Which beer are you looking for? I've been looking for... Maybe someone will send it to you. Yeah, maybe. maybe, maybe. What are you maybe looking I for, start Samantha? tweeting at the company. Okay. Um, I've been looking for Elysian beer, which we've we've drank on the show. They're, um, they're double shot. Yes. One. Um, which is like delicious. I think you and I like drank that straight for like a month. We did. And uh, they have one called... Uh, Punkachino. Punkachino. It's a uh, a pumpkin and coffee stout, and um, I just can't find anywhere. I found like literally they have like about five. Pumpkin, wait, pumpkin and coffee. Pumpkin and coffee, like shit. It's like pretty much my morning. Um, <laughs> okay. And because uh, I I drink like pumpkin coffee and I have like pumpkin spice bread and I have like pumpkin oatmeal. It's like really ridiculous. I have much, a problem. How much pumpkin I actually do eat during this time of the year. But I've been looking for it. I can't find it. But I found literally every other, they have like four other Halloween beers. They have like a, a night owl one. And then they have um like a, a barking dog one. I forget what the title is. And like the name of it is. And like, I found all these other beers. I'm like, where is my Punkachino? I, I want that. But in the, um, it's called Punkachino. Yeah. I couldn't find it. Punkachino. So uh, today I got <clears throat> Fisherman's Pumpkin Stout from the uh, Cape Ann Brewing Company in, you said, Massachusetts, yes, right? Yes, Gloucester, Massachusetts. Yeah, so uh, it looks good. Pumpkin Stout. Everyone knows I'm a huge fan of stout beers. Yes. And we haven't tried a pumpkin stout yet. No, so, so here, cheers. Cheers. We haven't tried it. Let's. Uh, Fisherman's. I see, I see that you've tried it, actually. I did. It's very good. You're fucking lush. It's very good. Yeah, alcohol. Yeah. I, uh, if you would have seen me last week, yes. Exactly. Ooh, it's really good. It's like ooh, drinking, this might be actually my favorite. This is like drinking pumpkin bread. Yeah, this actually might be my favorite. Um, this is our pumpkin already stout. after one sip. Yeah, it's it really rivals. Look at how excited it, you are. It, it really rivals pumpkin by Southern Tier in my head. Um, it says our pumpkin stout is a subtle combination of spice and pumpkin matched perfectly with the hearty flavors of a stout. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I, I'm a company man. I'm still uh, thir- um, Duke Plus 31 is still my favorite. Mm. I really actually like this. This is very good, though. Um, yeah. Excellent choice. Um, yeah. I'm like such a stout drinker. Like I, when I'm drinking other beers, it, like it doesn't you're, make you're sense. You're manlier to me. than I am. Well, yeah. I, I need I like mean, a, like an ale. Yeah, or you're, a, you're 
Or like you need where's like a my, strawberry where, wheat. You know, where's my like my uh, pumpkin like uh, blonde ale? Yeah, like you're like a pussy. This is this is like a man's I'm beer not, right here. I'm not like a pussy. I am a pussy. I really like this. I think I'm gonna go get more of this. Pick it up. Mm, yeah, Do I got it. it I got it at the uh, the Whole Foods by us. And uh, if anyone can find that Southern Punkachino, uh, uh, Elysian Brewing Punkachino, yeah, I'll pay you to ship it over. Yeah, I'm like looking for I'll it. I'll pay like, you to ship it over. Like I'm like actually like fixing for it. Like I'm like scratching my neck. Like you know, like a joke. Maybe you're like rubbing yourself. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah, like, the- um. Yeah, all right. Uh, Jeff Emo Ant Trainer said, uh, yes. "Question: American football represents everything that's wrong with this country, right?" My question, my question back, no. my question back to you is: Are we talking about American football on the field or American football off the field? I think he means maybe. On well, the field. that's my question to him. Before I answer that question, I'm not going to make a judgment call okay. yet until I get uh, until I get a uh, clarification. All right. So if you if you can find uh, uh this is the bounty for the week yeah if you Legion can find Brewing Puncachino Puncachino if you can find it send it to me um if you're in, if you live in the Seattle area where Elysian is based yeah and you find it oh I will pay you I just can't I'll I pay can't. shipping and I'll, I'll pay you for the beer and I'll, I'll throw in a little extra I, how's that nudie pictures of me is that what you're offering no. Why? Why are you? Why are you suggesting? Why are you doing this? Uh, it's not I cool. Um, no, it's, it's not. not. It's not cool. Um, but if you can't find that, try Fisherman's Pumpkin Stout not by cool. Kate and I'm all Broom like Company. flustered now. I know. I could tell your little so your, not your, cool. your little Asian face is all red. Yeah, my little Asian something else is all red too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's terrible. I was drinking. Oh, now you've changed. I was the trying beer to make you me. spit all, all over your iPad. Yeah, yeah. You've tainted the beer for me. Yeah. Speaking of that, uh, you went you went pan shopping today. I did go pan shopping today. And stand up. Let's see. Uh, stand up. <laughs> you really we act, are. You really we are. We we do have GoPro cameras. Whoa. Yeah, All right. I, um, I got like a little. Uh, they got like a little ombre going to them. Yeah. Very nice. Um, by a great company called uh called K Deer. K Deer. Um. Yeah. Actually, you could go on my Instagram and see the pictures. I posted a picture of them. Did you? Like you yeah. in the pants? Yeah. Well, I posted my legs. Okay. Um. Uh. Instagram.com slash Sam Quintus. Yeah. Q U I N T A S. I will oh, spell you that one. It. Yeah. Sam Quintus, everybody. Well, librarian is just too many letters to spell. Like, if you can't spell librarian, <laughs> then you're a fucking idiot. That's what's wrong with our country. Because so many people say, like, Not the library. If you spell, like, That's the Zen librarian, you're going to find a completely different person. It's Zen librarian. Yeah. So, but Instagram, uh, Sam Quintus. Sam Quintus. I just go by my Check out her name. pants. Which is funny <clears> because <throat> I notice I do everything. Yes. I always say my name is Samantha, obviously. Is, That's what yes. I was raised. Yes. Um, my mother hates when I call myself Sam because she's like, ah, I didn't raise a little boy. Um, but obviously when I was a kid, the uh, the TV show Wishbone was really popular. Uh, yeah, the little dog, right? And the girl on the show, the the main character's best friend, her name was Samantha, but she called herself Sam. And she was, okay. she was like a very strong character. She was very smart. She read a lot. Yes. Um, and I kind of like – I really looked up to her almost – and I kind of wanted to be her. And so I kind of, you know, I kind of liked the name okay. Sam because of that. And um, it was funny, though, the other day. I mean, when I'm at work, my name tag says Sam. I tell everybody my name is Sam. But when I answer the phone, yes, I answer the phone, you know, thank you for calling uh, Athleta at the Grove in Shrewsbury. Samantha speaking. How can yes. I help you today? And so the other day I'm at work. Well, the other day I'm at work and um, my my manager calls and she goes, Sam, she goes, before I ask you, or like, before I get to why I really called, she goes, can I ask you a question? I was like, yeah. She goes, how, do you, how come you do that? I was like, do what? She goes, introduce yourself on the phone. And when I'm sending emails, yes. I sign them Samantha Quintus. Okay. She goes, how come you always, when you like answer the phone or send an email, say Samantha? And right. I was like, I actually never, like in an email, it's because it, it to me is like a professional thing. Right. And talk- you're a professional. Well, if I'm talking, if I'm talking to somebody who has, who's above me, I, I always want to, you know, be more professional. But with the phone, it was something I never realized I do. Okay. So, um, so she's like, you know, she goes, I actually, the other day, somebody higher up called the store and I answered the phone, put them through to the back and they said, did you hire another Samantha? How's that working out? And she's like, no, that's that. That was Sam who answered the phone. She goes, why does she call herself Samantha? No one knows her like that. So it was this little like. That's it. You're fired. It was like this. Like, exactly. It was this little Get out. funny thing that I do that I didn't even realize. So this entire week I've been you trying. You might have a problem. I've been trying to answer the phone like, thank you for calling Athleta at the Grove and Shrewsbury. Sam speaking. But it always comes out a little mumbled because I'm not used I to it. I say that so you don't want people to think you're a little boy. 
I like I don't even know. Like it's fun. Like when, Either or, you can't when tell I'm who doing it is anything or, you know. where people need to contact me, I always put like Samantha. Right. So I've been apartment hunting okay. and like on the, the you know, contact property, I always put Samantha. Right. And it's like it's funny. So this week I like literally have not used Samantha at all. I've just been putting Sam on everything. Make a decision, Sam. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. So now when Pick I name. when I sign, I put Sam and then Antha in parentheses. Pick a name. Although I call you both too, so you I do. Don't, I don't. I, uh, yeah, I was yeah. gonna say. I, uh, it depends on how drunk I am, though. Yeah. 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 Or if I'm flustered. Yeah. 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 Anyways, nice pants. Thank you. Nice, yeah, so, nice uh, thigh gap there, by the way. Oh, uh, thank you. It's very nice. Well, you know, Chip Wilson of Lululemon would be impressed. Yes. You know, since my thighs don't rub together. Yes. Yes. So would uh, <laughs> so would uh, Brian Johnson. Wow. Big fan of the thigh gap. Yeah? Yeah, that might be his thing. Nice. I'll send him some pictures like, uh, later. Like Flanagan's like an ass man. Yeah. He loves the ass. Well, it was funny, too, because I was actually- Little wa- known fact. I was walking in, mm-hmm. and um, Walt was oh, walking yeah, out, yeah. and um, did obviously- you him, Did you see him like look uh, back? No, I didn't even turn around. I was like mortified, because I, like, I completely forgot that Walt is Walt, and I'm me. And like he walked out the door, and I went, hey, Walt! And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, you never say hi to Walt. And he just like looked at me, and he was just like, he gave me like that eye, like, what the fuck are you wearing? on your legs my anaconda don't my anaconda is that what, you're, is that what he said yeah buns, we broke out and i started shaking my ass for him in the parking lot this is why is it? did you hear this on the why are we listening to this song again ass. that's why it's a terrible song you might as well put the original one on all right um but yeah that. no it was funny he uh, he just like looked at me like why are you talking <laughs> to me i was like man i totally forgot that, and did he that did you look Walt. at you know your pants are not they're like something. fucking wild today oh my god <laughs> Becky, look at her butt. oh i got so a uh, you didn't you didn't see this like going in his like head one of those maybe m- no i uh i wasn't even thinking that no. but right. you know maybe i'll send a picture of my thighs to uh brian johnson later only you should from the back you need yeah, to put the like gap in there though yeah okay yeah. i mean yeah. her butt yeah. you can look forward to that um uh, so Jeff, did he really he, give you a weird look? Yeah, he kind of gave me like a weird look, like what is on your fucking legs, child? Um, it was just, it was very funny. And I was he's just from like, the old school. I like, was just like, man, he's probably like, this bitch comes in every week with these crazy fucking yoga pants on, and now she's wearing blue striped pants. Yes. What is going on? Uh, <laughs> Jeff, emo ant trainer, got back. He said all of the above. I will say that American football off the field is everything that's wrong with this country. On the field, it's like only like half of what's wrong with the country. Okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. I actually do like watching um, football, but actually, okay. ooh, we could talk about football, um, uh, What like raising kids to get to the NFL. Um, there was a huge scandal from a local football team. Uh, locals in high school? Locals in high school just this past week. Okay. Um, actually, two scandals in a row. Uh, the team in question is Sayreville High School. Okay, where you went? Where I went. Okay. Uh, Sayreville, they have a great football team. Football's kind of king there. Um, everybody else kind of gets like brushed aside, and the football players are like the fucking gods among mere mortals. They've been like state champs, or yeah, oh, okay. they're, right, they're yeah, good. no, they're they're like a good team, and um, pretty much all the money for the school goes to them. Okay, and, you know, if they're not passing, they pretty much do because they're football players, right. and so. Uh, what happened? So a few weeks ago, about three weeks ago, the assistant coach was caught with um, steroids and syringes. I guess he was in Bridgewater. He was speeding. I guess they searched his car and they found that. So he was fired. So a week later, I noticed on my Facebook news feed, the game between Sayreville and I think it was South Brunswick was canceled. Okay. And I'm like, oh, man, that's probably because of, of the assistant coach and they're testing the Scandal. kids for okay, steroid use. Yeah, they're juicing these kids up. No. Much fucking worse. And um, I only know this story because I happen to know people in town, uh, like cops in town, that have told me this story. But this you want to talk about this? Yeah, I do actually. Okay, this, is... this isn't the story that's all right, being. This is all hearsay, by the way, right? This isn't fact. <laughs> this is fact. Okay. Um, this isn't the story that any. I mean, they're kind of. Um, they're kind. The school, the um, the Sarah, spit it out. the uh, the the senior, the varsity team. There you go. That's the word I'm looking for. I... Was um. It's been reported that the varsity team has been hazing the JV team and okay. uh, and the uh, the freshman team. And I guess the question that that calls in is um, how how many people knew about it? Is this like a Penn State where everyone knew but kind of looked the other way? What kind of hazing were you talking about? Is it like like weird like homo stuff? 
um, the one that I heard was that they were like practically sodomizing them. Why? I I don't get why this is a thing. Yeah. No, I actually I don't, don't get, get why that's a thing Weird, either. Isn't it? Um, like I'm actually really happy that like it was kind of brought to the forefront because I mean like that's like a fucking terrible thing, and Lord only knows how long it's been going on. Um. And I feel like, like I said, in Sayreville, I do know that the football players are like gods among mere mortals. Right, and but it's so kind of not- like looked away. So my question is, I want to know how many fucking people knew about this. Is this like a Papa Joe where he knew but looked the other way? You I know, mean, yeah, I, I'm sure people is, knew like, about it. Does the he- I mean, because I know the head coach and he's a great guy. I can't imagine this you happening. You this? What? You would condone this? You yeah, mean? like, I can't imagine, you know, like, but I mean, shit, like, people are going to lose their fucking jobs over this, yes. obviously. It's not cool. Um, Sayreville, and, it, you know, the implication, though, that's, like, terrible is that um, Sayreville football players might not play another game this season. Yeah. And, it, I mean, it, think about all the seniors who are going to college who are being scouted out. They're not going to be scouted right, out. Right, They're not right. going to get their scholarships. Like, this is terrible. And, like, you got to wonder, like, <laughs> why is this happening? Like, why... And this, I mean, this just doesn't look good why? for football in general. Uh, I, why, I, I, I don't know. Like, why do people bully people in general? Well, I was going to say, like, this just doesn't look good. Like, the NFL is having problems. Right. Like, high school football is yes. having problems. College football is having yeah, problems. Well, it's always like, been like this. Like, though. where is this coming from? Uh, why are kids that are, it's like are the, it's playing the, football naturally drawn to this kind of. It's, it's the culture. It's the, the testosterone, the adrenaline, the, uh, the, the, I don't know. I didn't play football. It's, yeah, like I, I just, thank God I didn't I, play yeah, football. I, I can't even right? imagine. Thank God. I just like can't even imagine. Thank um, God. I, I would have. They would have wrecked me, dude. Oh, that was all Ant Wife talking. That by would've... the way, I like. I just feel like, like you know, the pressure to be a, a, a football. Like, player, all I want to do is catch the freaking football. Like the pressure to be Throw a football ball, player catch makes ball. people do fucking crazy things, and that's where I think the problem with football is. Yes. Um. But I mean, like, you don't see this, like, you see, like, weird shit from baseball players, like, they're all juicing, but, like, you don't necessarily see the kind of level of, like, craziness right. that you're getting out of you, football players. You ever watch players. a baseball game? You, you stay on the outfield for Like, I mean, are we talking about, like, maybe, I know a few years ago they were talking about the implications of, like, their heads getting hit and concussions and the brain damage that might be uh, insane. Like, I mean, is, is that it? Like, no, why? I don't believe Why so. are kids and why are adults, I mean, like, strictly speaking, Ray Rice, like, <laughs> Abusing the shit out of people. Uh, I, I some people are just like that, and so, they're all uh, they just all happen to be football players. No, but you know, no. you get to a certain level where you think you're invincible and you don't hold back. Yeah, you don't you don't think there are any consequences. So, I mean, you, you get away with whatever with with anything. you know. In in this case, I want to know, especially in Sayreville, like okay. who's at fault? Is it? You know, the pressure in general that these, these kids feel, is it the, the complex that's put on them that they are untouchable by anybody? You know, that they think they can get away with this, that they have this, yes, this god complex. you're a freaking f- high school football player. You're not, you ain't untouchable. Well, that's, I mean, you know, like, that's what I'm thinking. Like, right now, my 29 year old self is looking back yeah. at like high school football sure. and I'm like, God, it's like a fucking joke. I mean, it's not a joke. It's a serious thing. People, these scholarships, but like, it's, it's not anywhere near college football or like, you know, uh, professional football. Like, but I'm like looking back at the football players I went to school with and like, you know, the, the God complex they had in high school. And like, I still know most of them and they're all like overweight, you know, working right. minimum wage yeah, jobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, you know, was it worth it to be abusing the shit out of the JV team? Like in the end? No, no, no. Throw the ball, catch the ball. That's it. I just, oh man. You don't need to be like pulling pants down or I, I don't know what, whatever you're talking about. Yeah. Like it just, I, uh. You don't need none of that. I, I thought it was crazy. This, uh, this, and they are reporting that it was hazing. They're not reporting like how deep obviously yet, but. But uh, you heard. Mm-hmm. You, you yeah. like, you heard exactly. Well, what I mean like on. pretty much everyone in Sayreville knows because Sayreville's, Sayreville's a small town. So like, I mean, there are like posts on my Facebook feed about like yes. what's been really going on. Right. And, um. Thank but God like it. you know, on the news, it's not like being broadcast that way yet. Like because Sayreville like, doesn't need another fucking sex scandal. Like that school is like, woo. Yeah. All right. That's why I played baseball, manly sport. Mm. Where a manly sport where they even accepted me on the team. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Uh, not so manly. Hey, my on base percentage was one thousand. I took. Is that good? Yeah, I walked. I walked. I didn't get a hit. I got one hit, but I walked the rest of the time. That's nice. Yeah, it was awesome. That's this... I think my slugging percentage was like zero. That's awesome. Yeah. Wow, yeah. you almost went pro. Yeah, I could have. 
I could have, yeah, I could have been almost, a contender. Almost went pro. Could have been a contender. Almost went. I know. Uh, you know, these pro. are these are minor worries, especially with the end of the world looming. It is. <laughs> oh. Yes. Ebola. 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 Are you I'm, afraid? Are you, I'm actually, are you... I'm actually a little scared shitless. Um, now, now here's the thing: Have there been any uh, reported outbreaks near us? Because uh, no, the first, they're all in Texas, which is where I was at. Yeah, which is where you were at. So, oh yeah. shit. Yeah. You could have brought this shit back with you. Uh, no, I'm killing it with beer. So alcohol kills germs, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, Are you really worried about this? Uh, well. You watched too many movies. You saw Outbreak. Well, yeah, no. The I, top of virus. Yeah, def- definitely. Uh, I saw World War Z. You know, the zombie outbreak. So uh, Here's my thing, though. Like, I'm, like, really looking forward to uh, to the end of the world. Like, the, the <laughs> apocalypse. Like, I want to live in, like, post-technology, like, Very revolution. Funny. The show. Like, I want to live in that world. Yeah, like, hard. you know, The Walking yeah. Dead. I want to live in that world. Sure. But, like, the problem that most people forget when they're talking. Why do you want to work in that world? I, because, like, you know, I want to walk around in, like, fucking combat boots and, you know, you shoot shit. You do that shit. now. Yeah, well. You can't shoot shit, but you can walk well, around. Well, yeah, like, I want to walk around. I, want, I don't want to go to work. I don't want to pay bills. I don't want technology. Like, I just want to walk around and shoot shit. Yeah, and, like, you want to be hungry all the time. You want to, yeah, like. Yeah, you know. You want to exactly. be uh, you, kind of dirty looking, but like kind of sexy, dirty looking, you know. Um, you know what? You could do that in three weeks when it's called Halloween. Awesome. I'm yeah. I'm totally going to. Yes. Uh, but here's the thing, though. Most people forget because a lot of people are like, oh, like I'm looking forward to the end of the world. Right. No more work. Like you have to get past like the infection and plague. You have to live through that before you can get to the end of the world. OK. So, yeah, that's just. That's like my my fear. But actually, the scariest thing about the Ebola virus right now is. is that I was talking to somebody at work, and I said, there's an Ebola virus outbreak in Texas. And she looked at me, and she goes, what's Ebola? I was like, ooh. Well, I mean, a lot of people have other things to worry about. Yeah, That's- She also, she had pink eye that week. Like, she got it, like. Oh, just put some topical cream on. Well, no, no, no. She had pink eye, and she um she goes, "Is pink eye like a, a symptom of Ebola?" Did you say yes. And I just looked at her. I was Did like, you "Please oh. tell me you said yes." <laughs> no, I was. I felt please like tell me you I said felt yes. too bad. I was like, "No." What was she like? Eighteen? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you know, some people have other other worries in life. You know, that was what makes. I mean, I love her completely, but I was like, "Come on, like Ebola? Like you don't know about Ebola?" That's what makes life uh, good. You can live in your own little insular, insular world and be happy and not have to worry I, I mean, about I stuff guess. Like this. Until I, it hits you and then you're ill prepared. I guess. Yeah. Well, I mean, what what uh what I mean, what are you going to do about it? So Ebola? There's, yeah. There's a dude, uh, I won't name names, but um he's uh he's a local resident and I saw him. He had gotten he had just gotten back from Home Depot. And he was armed. He had masks. He had cleaning products. He has stuff to seal off his windows, like, and I, um, I'm, I'm, I'm like, oh, what's is this th- somebody I know? No. Okay. No. I was, I was I'll like, tell you afterwards. I was like, really like. I saw him unloading like uh, a whole bunch of bags from Home Depot, and I'm like, hey, what's uh, what like um construction project? He's like, no, I'm preparing for Ebola, and I laughed. <laughs> I thought, yeah, I laughed. I laughed because I thought he was kidding, and he looked at me. He was like, I'm not kidding, dude. He didn't say that, but he looked at me like it's not funny. <laughs> He was serious. <laughs> oh, no. No yeah. more bread and milk at the supermarket. People are going to be going crazy. Yeah. No. I mean, to be. I mean, until there's like an outbreak in New Jersey, I'm not really worried. But I'm kind of like a little worried for like just in general. Uh, I, 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 what, I Say there is an outbreak. What can you do about it? Nothing. You can't. Well, I mean, like just don't touch any fucking like other people's blood. That's like the first thing. Okay. Like, if I see, like, a puddle of blood on the sidewalk, not to be like, oh, what's that? Right. <laughs> you know? Like, okay, yeah. But, I mean, I, I, I don't know. How, I, how does it spread? Do you, Have you done any research? It the spreads, first thing it spreads imp- through blood. And, like... Contact with mm-hmm. infected blood. Yeah. That's it. And, like, I, I'm not sure if it actually spreads through, like, yeah. Like mucous membranes? Yeah, I think uh, Airborne? Blood. It's not airborne. Okay. Um, I, I don't... Um, like, you know, um, food... Uh, unclean toilets. I don't know. Like, surf taco. No, why, why? No, surf taco is clean. The toilets. Oh, oh I, I don't said, use those bathrooms. You said unclean toilets. Yeah, 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 I yeah. said surf taco. I'm saying the first it was, it was a little word association. Your first line of defense, Samantha, is knowledge. Yes. Arm yourself with knowledge. Yeah. Well, like I said, until Before it really gets to New Jersey, I'm not too worried about it. Okay. I'm just like you know, right now I'm a little worried, but planning my apocalypse outfit. Okay, which is these pants that you're wearing? No, I oh got these would be too loud in the apocalypse. Too loud. I'm gonna need to go with like you know, like camo yoga. Do you have pants. like camo yoga pants? I have a few pairs. I know you do. I've seen them. <laughs> I've seen them. They're, they're very nice. <laughs> they are very nice. I have like two or three yes, pairs. They're very yeah. nice. 
All right. Uh, if I get infected, will you put me on my misery? Oh, yeah. Okay. Like How are you going to do it? Shoot me in the head? Shovel? Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to make you look at the flowers. Oh, okay. Yeah. Shoot you in the head. Oh, okay. Speaking of which, uh, I was um, I was hanging out with that girl this weekend. The uh, little one? Brighton Sharbino. Is she uh, is she in love with you? Um, Is she 13? Yes. Hmm. Oh, mean she- Jack. She was very. She was cool. Yeah, she was cool. There was, uh, there was a picture of us on Instagram. I saw it. Instagram dot com slash I saw it. I saw, I saw everybody's criticisms as well. Were there criticisms? Probably. There are no. No people thought that was. Um, she was really cool. There are people are always criticizing. I me can't go sure. wrong if I post a picture of someone from The Walking Dead. Unless not, they're like a hot someone from The Walking Dead. Um. No. Even then, it's it's fine. I, there's a picture of me with Lauren Cohen. Yeah. And uh, like Sonequa Martin-Green. I'm just dropping names now. There you are. Alana Masterson. I know. I don't think I got any shit for that. Uh, uh, like, here, let me see this picture here. Yeah, I'm going to go to your feed right now. You go to my feed right now. Yeah. And uh, no, you guys are both awesome. She terrifies me. <laughs> she terrifies She's a good, ac- good actress. Ming Chen. Uh, you are awesome, Ming. So, hey, I, that, I can't, that I know I can't go wrong with. But watch now, people are going to post shit now. Well, so. I mean, rightfully so, they should. So not You're cool. You're a terrible, terrible man. So not cool. Now, this might be before your time, but uh, back in 1990. Uh, I was five. On ABC, there was a phenomenon that appeared on TV. Uh, a little TV show called Twin Peaks. I've heard it. I've never watched it. It's on Netflix. It's amazing. Yeah. Uh, way, 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 way ahead of its time. Though. What's the premise of the show? Uh, well, it... it, it, it the the simple premise is uh, there's a little uh, logging town and I believe uh, like the north the northwest. Let me guess, Twin Peaks. Twin Peaks. Uh, is it Idaho or Oregon? I have to look. I can't remember. A uh, g- girl named Laura Palmer is found murdered. Uh, Kyle McLaughlin plays an agent that gets sent up to investigate. Okay. And this is all David Lynch, mind you. Okay. So all this, there's all this weird stuff going on. Okay. And they try to find out who killed Laura. Who killed Laura Palmer is a big question. Okay. Yes. That's the basic premise. Wow. That sounds oddly like a show that I started watching this past week. Called? Grace Point. And is it like where are there midgets and people talking backwards and stuff? No. Okay. Doesn't sound like that show anymore. Oh. All right. Uh, I suggest you watch the pilot, which is on Netflix. Okay. It's awesome. I remember um, I remember when it came out. I was 16. Okay. Uh, I was, uh, I, I believe it debuted during the summer, like August or something. Yeah. And I remember my cousin, who was older than me, was always into. He was always ahead of stuff. Like he was into the cool. He knew when stuff was cool. Yeah. He he was like, dude, there's this show coming. Out. Like, sit down. We gotta watch this. That's cool. And we watched it. and It was like, well, this is this is amazing. I um, um, went out for went out for a couple seasons. Um, I think what happened was um, like the suits got involved, kind of changed David Lynch's vision, or it got really weird too. So I think people started tuning out. It just got really. So it weird. got like lost weird. Uh, even more weird. Is that, you know, Were they all dead in the end? No. Okay. No. <laughs> then it didn't quite honestly, get lost weird. Honestly, it didn't even really end. Okay. Because it got canceled during the second season. Okay. It didn't really end. Well, now, uh, there was an announcement that's coming back, this time on Showtime. Okay. Uh, they're going to do nine episodes. Okay. And it's going to be awesome. Man, that and, gives me hope that maybe in... This is the theme song by maybe, Julie Cruz. Maybe in, um, wait, that was in 1990? Yes, so, 1990. So we're... Yeah, it's 14 years ago. No. 24? 24 24 years years ago. ago. My bad. My bad. So that gives me hope that in 24 years, my favorite fucking TV show, The River, will come back. The River? Yeah. Good luck. I fucking love that show. Although, I um, I kind of conned my uh, my boyfriend into watching my favorite TV show of all time. Which is? Eureka. It was the show. I've talked about it before. It was the show on sci-fi. And um, it, it lasted like five seasons and then sci-fi like pulled the plug on it because you know Ooh, that's a little creepy oh it's good yeah that's yeah, the theme song i really like that Twin so Peaks. uh so it um it got five seasons and then you know uh sci-fi pulled the plug on it and eureka asked for like half a season six season or yeah six episodes uh to kind of wrap up the show and sci-fi came back and said well you know we'll give you one you wrap up the entire show in one episode okay and the show wrapped up so fucking perfectly i mean like show one hour one hour (laughs) it was it was like the most perfect show ever and just the entire um all five seasons plus one episode were fantastic i can't remember honestly like a bad 
episode. Okay. So um, I noticed it was on Netflix, and uh, I, all right, I'll, I re- well, Eureka. Wait, did it they was it? on Netflix. They pulled they seasons. Pulled th- they pulled seasons one through three, but it's on Amazon. So not cool. Amazon Instant Video. Prime. Yeah. Is on Prime. Yeah. Is it? Okay. Yeah. So if you have that, you can watch it. That's where we're watching it now. But I kind of conned him into watching it. So I was kind of staring at it longingly on the Netflix screen. Okay. And he's like, watch it in the mornings, like before I wake up, you know, whatever, before, before, whatever. And um, so, so one day I was like, why don't we just like watch the pilot? Or I started watching it before, like when he was cooking dinner or something. Right. And he came into the room. I'm like, oh, like, man, I just want to finish this one episode. Meanwhile, it had like 50 minutes to go. So I kind of conned him into watching the first episode. And would you believe that he fucking loves it? Well, we're on I, season three. We're on season three now. All and right. um, I mean, like, I'll go to sleep at night and like, like I'll fall asleep on the couch. And he like watches four or five episodes before waking me up. Um, so I kind of conned him into watching my favorite show and he loves it. And I, I you know. All right, breaking news from Joe Peterson here. Uh, Ebola has to get passed around through body fluids. Yeah. Uh, crazy yoga pants are a good line of defense for all diseases. Mm. So good, good job. Awesome. Good job. Awesome. I, uh, I, uh, I can't wait to. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna have to. Uh, I have the same three jokes over and over again. What jokes do I have? I don't know. Somebody. What? What? Yeah. What are they? I want to. Yeah. Know. I, I. I. I wasn't aware I had jokes. So. Um. Awesome. Jokes. I get jokes jokes but uh yes yeah, so uh so i kind of conned him into watching it but uh this twin peak show yes. uh, beside like the weird midgets yes. thing sounds just like um this new david Tennant show um grace point that i started watching and it's like all is it a murder mystery well yeah it's weird? it's like a kid is found dead on the beach okay. and pretty on much the, like, the beach okay that's how they found laura palmer yeah like it's just wrapped like, in the, plastic no, this kid was just on the beach, but it, like it was by a cliff. Yes. So they didn't know if he jumped and committed suicide, or if he was pushed, or if he was laid there to okay. look like he jumped. Right. But I mean, like I'm pretty sure like everyone who was a Doctor Who fan watched this fucking show, like okay. the, the pilot, because like it's David Tennant looking like you know sexy as all hell. All right. And um, but the idea is it's ten episodes. It's a ten episode um you know murder mystery right. and like everybody's a suspect so that's like the whole thing it's like trust no one suspect everyone so is each episode they are they uh you um you can eliminate a suspect i, I guess maybe because like I'm, I'm trying to think of how many people are actually like kind of accused right now yes. that they've kind of been hinting at and um you know so it's it's kind of like like that but uh it sounds very familiar to this this twin peaks all right andrew ogle are are one of our uh, loyal listeners I think Samantha needs to make a few appearances on comic book man dump Rob Bruce for Sammy oh I like that well hold on That's do you weird. know anything about little rubber monsters do you know anything about kaiju do you know anything about Godzilla Godzilla sure do you know anything oh, well, that's, that's yeah a little Gojira yeah yeah oh yeah okay alright you're in sorry Rob oh, yeah, oh shit yeah sorry I Rob. mean like I got like a, a little sci-fi nerdiness in me you, you know do. You do. Yeah. I was the one who told you the thing that the pearls were actually a Martha Wayne thing uh, today. Yes, we were, we were talking, talking about, about Gotham. We were about Gotham and how on every incarnation of uh, the Batman origin story, you <laughs> see the pearls breaking off Martha Wayne's neck. And like bouncing they very bounce, artistically they bounce on, the on, the, on the just rained pavement. <laughs> Always just Always. rained. <laughs> Always. And I'm like, why do they keep doing that? Um, was it in Detective 27? Yeah. And, I, and it was. It was in uh, Detective Comics, I think like I forget which one, which number it was. Oh, but, uh, it was twice. Uh, maybe they go back. There's a flashback. I uh, maybe I uh, I reached out to uh, to a comic book nerd I know, and uh, we discussed it. And yeah, no, she was because uh, the the guy who who robs them tries yes. to get her pearls because she yes. was wearing Joe them. Joe Chill. Uh, yes. Yes. Um, which I mean, in 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 this Gotham, it might not be Joe Chill. Yes. Like, Lord only fucking knows where they're going to go on this one. All right. What did you think? You you finally watched the first episode. I did. I liked the first episode. Uh, there, um, you had some criticisms beside the Pearl uh, Necklace. I mean, it's more more the overall Batman plot. You know, I, I always ask why why are the Waynes walking down a dark alley, foreboding <laughs> alley? Where the where is, where the hell is Alfred with the freaking rolls well, in see, front of the theater? I feel like why are they walking? I feel like also maybe um, they you know I know they I feel like feel in like Batman like, Begins yes. they made it really realistic because um, Bruce had to get out of the theater so quickly because he was like panic attacking yes, right. so they probably ran out some side entrance and it brought them into the alleyway like I feel like you that... ever gone out a side entrance I ever feel, I feel, 
Yeah. Have you? Yeah. Or the smoke like a doob? I mean, like, you know, I feel like that, like, legitimately kind of gave, like, an, an idea of why they might have rushed out, not the front door. But, like, I feel like, like, in Gotham, they were, like, laughing, like, ha, 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 ha. Uh-huh, look like, at me. like, we're walking down a fucking dark alley. Like, what kind of parenting is that? Exactly. Yeah. That's, right. that was, um, I, I agree with that. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Uh, Corey Joseph, who yes. thinks I only have, um, Three jokes. Three jokes. Okay. Said I heard you. Corey, now- what are the three jokes? Yeah, what are these what three, are three jokes? jokes? He said I heard you can now get Ebola from pumpkin beer, which right, just drink pro- up. Which just proves the fact that Corey, drink up. Corey, Corey has no jokes. Drink up. Mm. Yeah, you think you're so funny? Let's see you do this. Mm. Let's Ebola. See you, let's see you do this. Tastes like pumpkin. Um, yes. So Twin Peaks, I'll have to. Uh, I'll have to watch. Uh, it. I, I, it's a, yeah. I was Netflix. totally. I was totally. Oh, watch your first episode. Just I know, watch your first I was first totally going to cancel my subscription to Showtime, though. It's a little like my Fios is, you know, like the, the boyfriend is so Fios. So many reasons we to keep Showtime, it, though. And, so and, like, it's you know, expensive. I understand. Yeah. It's like freaking if you. I mean, like I have to keep HBO because of Game of Thrones. Uh, you get it off iTunes, can't you? Can you remain current? And no, I need to watch it like live. Understand. So, yeah. Because like people go fuck like Walking Dead. Yes. And Game of Thrones are the two shows on Facebook yeah. that if you oh, yeah. are not watching yeah, the show, you're, you're you can't be on your Facebook. You're, you're, you are be- Yeah, because like people are just like, oh my God, I can't believe Carl's not in the goddamn house. Like, I don't even know what kind of dumb shit people say, but it's just ridiculous. Right. Oh, he's eating pudding. Like, what's he talking about? Holy pudding? Crap. Pudding? Oh pudding. my God. <laughs> Carl yeah. and his goddamn pudding, which that show is coming back. Oh, they, it, uh, it it was gone far too long. No. I'm, a, I'm a fan, Jesus man. Jesus fucking big, Christ. It's so slow. It's not, it's not slow. Okay. We're all about to get eaten. Do we think she's still alive? Who's she? Whatever her name is. Uh, Beth. Yes. She's is she alive. still alive? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. They didn't cook her? Uh, I wanted to ask her that this weekend. I was, uh, so, so here's the thing. I'm sitting there, right? That's her name, right? Beth. Uh, yeah. No, Emily Kinney. You no, know, yeah, on the yeah. show. On the show, yeah. What her name is in real life? I watched her say. I wanted to ask though. I'm, I'm sitting there, right? I'm sitting there. I'm eating a barbecue sandwich, like sauce is dripping out of it. She sits down across from me, and I just run. Hey, are you still alive or what? Eating barbecue. That's eating funny. Barbecue, yeah. yeah, very cute. Yeah. I wanted um, to ask her. Didn't ask her. So, in addition to Walking Dead uh, she, coming it's, back, it's, it's a little intimidating. She's very like. She's very tiny and adorable. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I can't imagine why that would be intimidating. Well, we see each other before. I think she kind of, if she doesn't know who I am, she faked it really well. Oh, she probably doesn't know who you are. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, so, in addition to um, the bane of my existence, The Walking Dead coming back this week, we also have Comic Book Men. Woo! Woo! Balloons drop from the ceiling. Season four. Yes. Pop the champagne, everybody. We got a fourth season. Yeah. We completed Can a fourth season. Can we have champagne? Yes. Oh, yeah. at the you want to yeah. get champagne at the party? Yeah, I think you should be passing out champagne bottles to everybody. It's a little, presu- it's a little pretentious, isn't it? <laughs> Pop champagne bottles. A little pretentious, yeah. isn't it? Like I'm like fucking Kanye. I like freaking like. You should at least get like a few bottles of champagne and do like a champagne toast. That's really that's that's maybe cross- finding some like pumpkin champagne. That's oh god, that's uh, that's that that's really crossing the line. So you're having your premiere party. Yeah, we are. I just confirmed it today. Nice. Sent out the invites. Nice. And uh, are you coming? I am. I already uh, said yes. Okay. Um, and uh, we're gonna be having beer there. We will. Um, did you uh, Did you reach out to your contact? Uh, I did. I should text her. I'm trying to get Duclaw bring to send some beer up. Yeah. Uh, I'll so, type Morgasm. Are you listening? Probably not. But I love the way you don't call her Morgan. You call her Morgasm. That's that's, that's so weird. Why? I don't know. It's just it's weird. Why? Why it's, is that weird? It's just weird. Why is that weird? I don't know. She has a beer named after her called Morgasm. Yeah, but I don't know if we should be like calling that as like her name. When she the last time she texted me, she's like, "Hey, this is Morgasm." Okay, well so, then, fair enough. She she opens that 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 bottle, and she gives me a Morgasm. So uh, what? Yeah, see, see, <laughs> and that's why people yeah. hate you. That's why people hate you on Twitter. Hate away, then. You had a lot of um. Hate away. You had, got, a, you had a lot. Obviously, away, join the, welcome to the party, pal. You were, you were busy in San Antonio this week. I was. And then Houston, um, not well, getting went, Ebola. Well, before that, I went to Austin. Yes. I, I did a little tour of uh, Southeast. Yeah. Um, Southeast, South and, and Southeast. And you had a lot of fucking haters on Twitter this, this week. Uh, it seems More that, than usual. It seems that whenever I have any 
inkling of fun uh people just want to crap all over that's cool um well i mean you did have a lot of people criticizing um you were posting pictures with a very beautiful girl um, a lot of pictures with her this past week. Which and, one uh, and, uh, are you? Wait, which one are you referring to? I, I just, that, there, uh, there are a lot of pictures. Well, I, I was referring to the one that you, um, well, I, uh, yes. Are you all flustered now? No, uh, I was to say your cousin. Yes. I didn't want to give that away though. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so there's a picture you, of me and a very beautiful Asian woman. Yes. A very beautiful Asian woman. And, uh, and he, there's were, a few pictures. There's a few. You were, you were uh, with her in a few yes, pictures. Yes, um, I cause was. you spent the week. Did. And you had a lot of people like, oh, Ming, are you tapping that? Where's your fucking wife? Blah, yeah. blah, blah. And then and you had like, this like, one really funny one. And they were like, Ming, you should be spending time with your family. And somebody came back at them and they were like, hey, so-and-so, it's his fucking cousin. Yes. And it was like the highlight of my day reading that. I did. I hung out with my cousin. Her name is Minsu, M-I-N-S-U-E. Mm. Uh, she is a very... And she's like your long lost cousin. She is. I didn't even find out. I didn't know she existed until like 10 months ago. Yeah, it was the same last year. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I had... Uh, so yeah, last year my brother died. I went to his funeral and I met her sister. And yeah. And she's like, you know, I have a sister. Um, she's your cousin. Yeah. Uh, and I... um. I have a feeling you guys would get along. She likes to travel. She goes on crazy adventures for food. She likes to eat weird things. She'll go on weird food adventures. Um, and, uh, you know, she's really, like, outgoing. And she plays hockey. There you go. And I'm like, holy shit. Like, yeah, the, there you go. Might be related. So, uh, so you spent a week. She lives in Texas. Lives in Houston, yes. Yeah. So you spent a week hanging out with her. I did. And you got some major fucking flack from people for hanging out with your long lost cousin. Uh, yeah. I yeah, just yeah. like, I, I really, I can't <laughs> put into words enough how fucking stupid there people was, uh, can yeah, be. There was some idiot on Twitter who was uh, like, you, know, um, you should be posting more photos with your family. Yeah. And, I, and I'm like, that is my family. Yeah. Bitch. Um, yeah. It was, it oh, was, the my, apparently like my jokes are pray for Debbie and Ming loves women. Oh, no, those are just true things actually. And um, and thirteen year old girl, uh, Ming's the man. He should be respected. Ah, oh. uh, <laughs> stole the words right out of my mouth. Yes, um, that is three. That's three jokes. That is three jokes. That's three jokes. Um, and, uh, applause for you, my friend. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ding. Where's where's our little uh? Where's our little? Oh, your little buzzers? Yeah, uh, they're somebody up there stole somewhere. Them. Somebody stole them. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so you hung out. Um, I did. Uh, in Houston. Yes. And you uh, you went to, like, denim factories. Oh, and, God, I have. And, like, oh, do I have stories you're, for like, you? You're, like, 20 pounds heavier with, like, Texas barbecue. All I, di- all I did was eat. I know. And drink. I actually want to know, <laughs> since you were in San Antonio okay. and then Austin yes. and Houston, did anybody do my challenge of the Ming Chen... Oh, stalking? Stalking. No, I, I don't think I really, really remained in one place long enough. Well, I was going to say, like, I wonder if like somebody really took that to heart, and when you were in San Antonio, they started stalking you, and then they realized, like, oh, shit, now he's in Austin. It, I gotta it, go follow it's, him. Um, it is a, it's a weird thing, though. Um, like, like uh, all right, I'm out of town, right? So I don't know anybody. Yeah. And but I'll you walk. always seem to find people you know. I do. It's weird. It's sure. it's great. Well, I mean, though. you kind of have friends everywhere. So I do. That's 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 a great thing, man. That's why I like making friends because uh, you know, no matter where you go, last thing I think you want to do is be alone and not have anything to do. Yeah. And if you go somewhere and you know somebody, they can tell you where all the cool stuff is, and they'll come with you. Yeah. And um, either that or maybe there's someone you are you want to go already. Yeah. And you, um, you don't want to go alone, so you'll bring this person that you know. And they had never been there before, even though they lived there. And it's kind of a cool thing that you can share. It's like, hey, I'm cool, too. Like, I found this place. It's cool. Yeah. Like, you live here. You can come here all the time. Now. Yeah, but – yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I'll walk <clears> into <throat> a place, and sometimes I'll get you'll, – you'll get, like, this little quick little look and of, like, quasi-recognition maybe. And then they'll kind of look away – and then some of them, and you know, um, I don't know, maybe two times out of 10, they'll actually approach you and be like, hey, is your name Ming by any chance? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. <laughs> well, what's funny is um, you were doing, you were posting a lot of things from Houston. Yes. And there was a few people on there that were like, holy shit, I've lived in Houston my whole life and I've never even heard of this place. I have to go check yeah, it yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So yeah, it was, it was funny to see that. Yeah. And I, I'm not doing anything special. I do Google searches. I look on Yelp. Like I like, I really like finding like cool hangouts because- uh, one, they're cool hangouts. Mm-hmm. They're, uh, I try to find something unique about them. Uh, I mean, you could go to any bar. Any idiot can go to a bar. 
but can you go to the bar that's been there since 1923 um, is all outdoors except for tin roofs and um, and has like dogs running yeah. around you know exactly the place I'm talking about is called the West Alabama Ice House yeah I, uh, I saw you posting oh you would there. you would have loved it shit i would have loved like everywhere you were you would have freaking loved it i was supposed to be going to texas uh at the end of this month but my vacation got canceled and now i'm saving money for uh apartment searching oh all right well priorities oh, well you know priorities <laughs> so before we get to that though you you are apartment hunting uh, yeah and um it is going it has been an interesting um god it's, experience. it's like i now i haven't been apartment hunting for <laughs> Uh, let's see. I when I moved here to Red Bank, started working full time with Kevin. Uh, it's been it's been like oh, uh, like fifteen years, maybe more. And when I did it, I moved into a complex, uh, actually not too far from where you live now. Um, I'll give the name a little place called Thousand Oaks. Oh, that's one of the places I'm looking at. How yeah, is there it? it's good. It's not okay. you know it ain't the Ritz, but okay. it'll provide you with uh, um a roof over my head. Yes. Okay. Uh, now their claim to fame is uh the wrestler Sergeant Slaughter used to live there. There used to be luxury apartments. They may they may still be built as luxury apartments, which they totally aren't. Um. Yeah. No, I don't think they are. They're one of like the cheaper places that I'm looking at. Yeah, and it was funny because he had a camouflage limousine. Yep. And that's where he it would be parked out there. <laughs> nice. He lived in the Thousand Oaks apartment. They're nothing nice. fancy though, but back then I guess they were. So I lived there. Uh, it was nice and quiet. Uh, they had a pool I never used. They had tennis courts I never used. And uh, my my elderly neighbors upstairs would have sex once a week on Saturday morning. And you heard it. it was, yeah, the walls are a little thin, so I just wanted. Okay, well that's that's good for be, me to know. Right, you can, I can scream all you want. I don't care. Um, no one's gonna care. Well, here's the thing. Um, and I, I, yeah, you're kind of loud. I don't want to live in a complex. Like I, I ideally I'd like to rent like part of a house. Um, which in Red Bank they do have a lot of those. They do, yes. A little pricier. Some, I mean, you're basically paying for space. So there was one that I found that was really cheap. Okay, but it was like probably about the size of this poker table. So um, we need space for. You're you know, never home. You know things. Um, so I, uh, I've been looking on. Um, I've been looking on Craigslist. Which, you know, <laughs> that's like my backup. I've been looking Craigslist. at Craigslist. I've been looking at an app called Zillow. <laughs> I've been looking on an app called Zillow. Okay. And um, so I, I came across this really weird one the other day. Um, it was in Middletown, and it was, like, really good rent. Okay. All utilities included. Okay. No pictures to speak of. Okay. So that was, like, the, yeah, that was the first thing. But, I mean, the rent was good enough where I might contact the person. Obviously, I'm not going to these apartments alone. Obviously, okay. my boyfriend will be good, traveling good, good. to them with okay. me. So, But the actual, um, like, in the... The information about right. it it said like you know it was like one bedroom one bath uh recently renovated kitchen space blah okay. blah blah um only single females can uh apply single white females only it didn't say white but it said only single females can apply and i'm like if that's not the fucking creepiest thing i oh, have yeah. ever fucking like that deserves to be on craigslist uh was it a male landlord don't know um and then it said don't email call this number Okay. Because you could like email, you could hit like contact property and it'll email them, or you could just call them directly. And it's a don't email, like, uh, I'm not going to pick up emails, call this number. And I was just like, man, this is, is this like Tinder for fucking houses? Like, <sighs> I, I, like, that to me just sounds creepy. Like, if you want to be like a creepy landlord type, like, okay. don't put it in the fucking description of the apartment because like no right. one is going to call for that. Okay. Like, well, no one's going to call. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'll all right, I'll, I'll I'll just play devil's advocate here. So I mean, then there was. Um, play, uh, all right, um, females tend to be cleaner, mm-hmm. um, l- better behaved, mm. uh, less prone to wild parties, quieter, mm. and um, you know, just, uh, less of a pain in the ass overall. Okay. Uh, single females even more so. Okay. So. You know, uh, just yeah. Is that now, legal though? I don't know. I've also had, I don't think that's I also legal. had one woman who, when I called her, I was told by somebody to call this woman. She had a she had a place, okay. a little carriage house, and um, the girl who was talking to me said, "If you're going to be moving in with like a boyfriend or something, you know, or even if you're going to have your boyfriend coming over, right. if you're not living with him." Um, you know, say, you know, just if, if, if I guess you're going to be living with him, say that you're married. And I'm like, excuse me? And she's like, because 
this woman is like very religious, very old fashioned, and she doesn't believe in couples like having sex or Hold living on, together this. before they're good married. Luck, good luck finding a tenant. So, well, that, that's what right? I said. So, I, I mean, like, I called this woman up and I said, like, you know, like, oh, I, I have a boyfriend, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And, you know, instantly the tone changed. She, she was just like, oh, well, I, I'm only interested in renting to, like, a single occupant. Okay. Like, one person. And I was just like, okay. Um, Is that legal? I don't, I don't think know. that's legal like, either. But I feel like I could justify like an old fashioned woman not wanting like a couple living together under her roof. Living, yes, but boyfriend coming over, like, you know, sp- you know, maybe spend a couple nights over, you know. I feel like I could justify that more than the guy who's clearly trying to pick up single chicks, cut right. them up and leave them in the basement in Middletown. Oh yeah, it's much better. Yeah. It's much better. So I, I don't know. It's just been like All right, well, I, the only places that are actually getting back to me are complexes. Yes. And like with complexes, yes. like that, I, I, with good I don't reason wanna... one, they're owned by usually a company or exactly. established corporations. That, I just that, like that, don't want to live in a complex. Like the walls are paper they have thin. To, they have to abide by rules. Yeah. And, uh, you know, with, 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 you know, some dude renting you a room or, or part of a house, th- there, there are no rules. Yeah. I, I just like, I, well, yeah, there are rules. There are own rules. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I just, it's been like fucking, um, it's been like fucking You hell, really want to move? I guess you do. Yeah, I do. Yeah. I do. I, I really want to get out gonna of It's going to be tough, Ryan. Rents I, suck here. Uh, yeah. I even mean, the place well, I lived was a complex. Yeah. When I went in to inquire, the woman started grilling me. It's like, you have a job? Are you well, married? that's like, you have the, kids? there's this other place that I'm looking that, at. Like, like, all these questions that she's not supposed to be answering. Yeah, like, me. I have to qualify with my income. Like, I have well, to fill that, out, like, a survey. Okay, that you need because they don't want you to skip out on the road. Well, no, but, like, you know, and just like the questions they were asking, though, were like very weird questions. Like, you know, and I just, I, I it's yes. been like hell. It's like really like Welcome to hell then. This it, is this is how it is. It's it's been fucking crazy. Like I, I'm almost like ready to just like move back in with my parents. Yeah, move home. There's no yeah. <laughs> like I just I can't even take it anymore. Like just these people that you have to talk to and you it's, know get used this is how it is. I know. It's I, never uh, gonna be pain free. I uh and, I, and you know, if you want to be pain free, move in with that dude who wants a single white female. Uh, yeah, well, no, that sounds like it's probably going to be painful when he's chopping off my uh, my fucking legs. What's funny though is, um, I, I think actually, he'll leave you whole. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. I'll just, you leave you and whole. just stuff me and use me for like weird sexual experiments in his basement. <laughs> Uh, what's funny though is I was actually checking. I I just I use the same app Zillow and I I like scroll down. Is to, that safe too? I mean I've heard of it. I yeah, and I scroll down to New Orleans to get like a two bedroom, you know, uh, three bedroom, two bath apartment in okay. fucking New Orleans, like mini house. It's like five hundred dollars and uh, yeah, like a month. Yeah, and I'm like, you got to be kidding me! Like, why am I still living in New Jersey? So. This is for you and the, and your your new land, your future landlord. Oh, thank you. <laughs> are you? What are your size? You're not a size fourteen. No. So, I think you'll be okay. Oh wait, that, actually, I need to. I'll, I'll find the other song. Um, there's, yeah. So, uh, well, I mean, don't settle. I know. But uh, you're in for you're you're in for uh, or you're in. For, I just like God. I, you're if for, this is you're in for a long ride. Yeah, no. And when's the last time you had to look for a place? This is the first time. Yeah, I like the song. I know. Anyways, well, I well, this is your first time. Yeah, it's my first. Oh time. well, no wonder you, like you think it's a pain in the ass. This is how it is. Yeah, well, it's annoying. Like God, people are psychopaths. Listening to you, like all frustrated. I just got it. I've been at it for like, like I've been at it for like weeks now. I've been at it like ten times, man. Yeah, well, you know what? I, and it, maybe it's a little harder for you since you're a female. You have more things. Yeah, your radar is up. Well, yeah, you know, and like I don't want to live in a dirty place. And unfortunately, around here, there's a lot of dirty you're places. You're a place that's been lived in by God knows how many people before you. Yeah, it's gonna and, be a pig's And yeah, no. Unless I, you find a place that's brand new, and in, in which case you're gonna be paying, <laughs> yeah, I know. You're gonna be paying out the ass. Like yeah, so sorry. Yeah, well. Life is, uh, this so, is life, man. So, uh, so. I'm sorry I'm not some, like, freaking, like, obscenely rich person. Like, it's like, oh, you guys can stay in my guest house. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I mean, like, well, ideally, like, I, I've been looking for little, like, cottage houses in Rumson. Um, and, you know, that's another thing. Most places are, like, no dogs allowed. Yeah. And my dog is not behaved. So, <laughs> yeah. 
she clearly isn't yeah. coming with me anywhere. Yeah, good luck finding Casa at the uh, and when you do, um, when's the housewarming party? Because uh, yeah. we're gonna wreck that place. Oh yeah, definitely. My my neighbor is my paper thin walls. Gonna trash that place. Strippers out of cakes. If that's what you want, yes. Fuck yeah, I want. Why do I put cake? them in cakes? By the way, you're always saying that. I don't that's know. That's your fourth joke. I, that is my strippers first joke. Cake. Strippers, Why would we need the cake? strippers and cakes. That's not like a I joke. Cake. No cake. I don't. We don't need the cake. Tell you me just want the over. stripper. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, stripper just... and Patron. That's it. Okay. Strippers That's and it. Patron. Got it. So let's talk about your trip. All right. So I'm gonna play a little. Uh, I'm gonna play a little game here. It's called True or False, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna list a fact from my trip, and you tell me if you think it's true or false. All right. Okay. Easy enough, right? Yeah. Okay. So uh, let's start with an easy one. Uh, now, usually, uh, uh, so I went with Brian and Mike. Uh, True. <laughs> that's not the question. True. Now, I'm pretty more laid back. I can go up. I can use any means of transportation, uh, whether it be a bus. <laughs> uh, we've taken like a shared shuttle before we get on, into a van with other people. Uh, we've taken the train. Uh, but this time, we decided to. To, uh, you know, ramp it up a little bit, be ballers, uh, we called a limo. So we eschewed pedestrian transportation, got a limo up to the airport. True or false? False. Where's my, uh, where's my sound effect? In? And the uh, survey says... Ooh. I like, the- I like the way you're playing this. Like, oh, like, I'm a pretty laid back guy. Yeah. I could take anything. Yes. Meanwhile, for your uh, your shoot, your okay. photos that you did, they were going to give you, like, a limo to oh, drive ten, you there for, for ten, 10 minutes. minutes. Yeah. So you know what? Like, yeah. this probably was all you on this limo. Uh, it was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. Yes. I um so usually we take a uh we take a shared ride up. Um it's thirty eight dollars per person. Plus mm-hmm. you have to tip the guy after. Yeah. This uh so I started calling around uh there's a place called I'll give him a little plug. Okay. They gave me ten percent off. A place called Arrow Limo here, local in town. And um I called them, they said they would drive all three of us up for uh I believe it was in the neighborhood of hundred and thirty dollars, tip included, divided by three, what's that? About 45 bucks. About 45 bucks. So I figure it's worth the extra $7 where the guy would drive here, wait for us. Yeah. Pick us up at whatever location we wanted. Um, so he took a limo. Drive us up with a smile. Uh, unload our bags and be on his merry way. No tip. No no must. No fuss. Charge to a credit card. There you go. Bam. No limo. There you, or a limo. Took a there limo. How no. about that? Okay. Well, we're moving up in the world. Uh, Yeah. Well, you moving know. Moving up in the world. Yeah. You yeah. know. That was something you arranged. And I arranged it, yes. Yes. Yeah. 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 Why are you looking down at me now? Or are you looking no, at me? No, I'm not looking down at you. I'm just saying I don't, you, know, I don't know. I don't know if I don't know if you could say like, oh, we're moving up in the world if you call the limo. Right, well, like, here. like had like maybe like comic book men arranged it. They basically did. It did was, you call? I called, yeah. Was it your idea? It was my idea. Then they didn't arrange it. Right, but this it. is uh like like um travel expenses, sort of, you know? It's part of part of doing business. But here's some cost breakdown. Uh, take the train up. Train only I comes did, once an hour. You I have to care. You have to haul bags and shit. Yeah, right. it, it makes sense. It takes a long time because there are stops. Uh, Fifteen dollars. Um, taking the shared shuttle up, where you have to meet them in a certain location at a certain time. Yeah. Uh, get loaded in and tip the guy anywhere from five to ten dollars. Yeah. Thirty eight dollars plus that five to ten dollars. Yeah. Tip. And it's a bumpy ass ride. Yeah. And I mean, hey, the limo <laughs> sounds great. Or get a guy to come whenever you want, wherever you want, pick you up, put forty five bucks, forty five dollars tip included. Which, there you come go. on, is that not a smart decision? It is a smart decision. Okay, I'll, I'll but, give you that. But one where you would probably look down on me on, where it's like, ooh, limo, huh? Yeah, like, oh, like, ha, ha, like all a all fucking right. limo. You arranged a fucking limo. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so. Okay, Andrew Lincoln. Next question. Okay. That was, all right. So that's okay. Number two. Uh, Brian and I got upgraded to first class while Mike Zapsik got shafted. Had to sit in coach or uh, what do they call economy? No, coach. You call it coach, right? Yeah, you call it coach. Yeah. Um, true. <laughs> that is amazing. That why, is true. Why did you get upgraded? Well, here's the here's, here's, here's part. It's a little mean. Okay. But uh, while I was checking in, uh, I noticed there was a first class upgrade. Uh, ninety nine dollars. I figure, why not? It's four and a half hour flight. Ninety nine dollars. Why not? So I did that. Uh, later on, I noticed there's one seat left. 
and I called Brian. I was like, hey, I kind of want to play a joke. You should upgrade. Oh, that's me. And then we'll tell Mike that, like, we don't know what happened. Oh, why didn't you play a joke on Brian Johnson? I, I, because I, um. Come on, like, who do you think would be more, like, fucking um, busting their balls to sit in economy? Mike Zapsick no, with a no, temperate personality? No. Or Brian Johnson oh, who hates you would, people? You would think so, right? Yeah. But Mike's been going, Mike's been falling off the, blowing, blowing up, going, whatever, blowing his handle. Or, yeah, I don't, blowing his that, gaskets. Blowing gaskets lately. We thought it'd be real funny. So we both, so we did the Oh, upgrade. man, that's so mean. Now, well, hold on. You think that's mean, right? Uh, it backfired. End up backfiring. Okay. Now, when we get to the airport, and this kind of ruins my next thing. Well, no, it kind of leads into it. We get to the airport. I check in fine. Mike checks in fine. Brian, they have no record of him upgrading. They have that seat reserved for him. But they said, if you want to get that seat, you it's not $99. You have to pay $800. And oh, my like, God. Wait a minute. I already paid for this. This is all arranged. Like, what the fuck? Um, and they don't have any answers for him. Uh, he gets, uh, almost more pissed off than I've ever seen him. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I, that, that makes sense. And that leads me to fact number three, true okay. or false. Brian Johnson gets to an argument with airline staff and gets booted off the flight. Has to take a later one. True. Ooh. Wrong. But I'll tell you. You led that, me into that one. I'll tell you that's, I did. I you did. did. I did. I caught, I, I freaking, um, what do they call it? Uh. I don't know what they call I did. I, I, I freaking teased you into that one. You did. I put it on the thigh highs and garters and you followed me into the room. I did. Yeah. One. Yeah. It was skanky. <clears throat> it was so skanky he gets did. pissed off at them and he gets pissed off to the point where he's like, all right, fuck you guys. Not, not to us, the airline yeah. staff. He ups and leaves. We don't know where he's, where he's gone. We don't know where he is. We're about to take this flight. We're like, where did he go? Me and Mike. Uh, you know, me, me being the calm one, I just I make a phone call on his behalf, try to get this straightened out. Uh, meanwhile, we don't know where he is. We're calling him, we're texting him. Um, we think he's gone home. Okay. We think he hopped a cab and went home. It's a shame that limo didn't wait around. <laughs> or we thought maybe he called the limo back, or the limo did wait around. Yeah. I don't know. We can't find him. Meanwhile, I'm trying to get this ticket thing straightened out. Um, I'm trying to call as him to see what's going on. And find out what the hell, what the fuck's going on. Uh, meanwhile, his his uh, what he tells me is he was about to hop in a cab and just go chill out in a hotel. Okay. And miss his whole trip. Um, which would have been a really bad idea. Uh, but to his credit, he told me before he hopped in that cab, he sat down, took a few deep breaths, uh, thought about what he was going to miss out on. Basically a ton of money. And... He went in and uh, gotten straightened out via the main airline counter. And he got his... Came back, got his first class upgrade. Good for him. Good for him. Good like, for him. Like, good for Brian. Now, here's the thing. Now, we're all balling riding up in the limo, right? Yeah. And I'm feeling good because there are many times where we didn't even get this far. And so I'd start texting people at the con and people who want, who matter. It's like, we're all in the car. We're going to make it. We're all good. <laughs> Don't worry. Nothing. We're good. Nothing wrong can happen now. And it did. So that's a lesson. Any of you kids listening out there, do not get overconfident. Ever. It's true. Until. It's true. You. Until you have won that game. Until you reached your destination. Until everything's all done and cleaned up and tidied. Do not get overconfident because it will bite you in the ass. So. There you go. Meanwhile, number two. Don't play stupid tricks on your friends. Yeah. Because that's yeah. also bad. That's mean. I take Mike's apps side on you this. You do? Are you yeah. Just, all right. I'm okay. bleeding hard over here. All right. So, all right. So, okay. So, you're you're not doing so good here. No, I'm not. All right. I got two wrong. Uh, right. All right. Number three. Uh, I get my balls handed to me by Point Break, point break Tank Girl League of Their Own actress. No, you missed actress. Uh, Brian and Mike. Oh, wait, wait. wait oh. Get, yeah. Oh, all right. So, we get to San Antonio. Uh, Brian and Mike almost get... No, we get to the hotel. It's late. Get there late. Yeah. Everyone's drinking. Uh, the bar bar's hopping. Yeah. Um, Brian and Mike almost get into a drunken altercation with Billy Zabka and Martin Cove from the Karate Kid over a stolen outdoor porch seat. Um, <laughs> Billy Zabka played Johnny from Karate Kid. You remember Johnny? Yeah. Put him in a body bag. Yeah. Martin Cove. 
I just this pain sounds does like not, this pain sounds, does not exist in this yeah, dojo, this, does it? This this sounds very precise. Okay. Um, very detailed. Okay. I want to say true. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna say true. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> no, uh, these two they could have been they couldn't have been nicer. God, uh, well, it's funny. So I walk in. Um, I see people I know already, even before I drop off my bags. Um, but hey, I'm, I'm saying hi to people. I go up, drop my bag, come back down. Uh, there's an outdoor porch area. Everyone's drinking, having a good time. Uh, I open the door and I see my, I see, see a friend of mine. Her name is Lainey. Yeah. She's a talent manager. Yeah. Uh, manages a bunch of the Power Rangers. And, uh, she's got a couple, couple of dudes from the TV show called, uh, Bitten. Okay. Uh, with her. It's a yeah. show on the Space Channel. I yeah. believe about werewolves. Yeah. Uh, got a couple of dudes. They're like real pretty boys. Mm. You would have loved them. Yeah. They are really like. Pretty Canadian boys, too. Ooh, love I love pretty Canadian uh, I boys. I see Lainey, I'm like, and I hadn't seen her a few months, so I'm like, hey, what's up? Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm like, I'm joking around with her. She's surrounded by dudes. And, you know, like, I'm a cool guy, so I start introducing myself around the table. And no one cares. No, they care. Hey, I'm Ming. <laughs> I'm Ming. I turn to my right. I'm like, hey, I'm Ming. Nice to meet you. Uh, and uh, the dude to my right goes, hey, what's up? My name's Billy. And I look at him. It was freaking Billy Zabka. It's Johnny from Karate Kid. And I'm like, oh. There you go. The fuck? Like, I know who you are. Yeah. You don't, you don't need to introduce yeah. me. But uh, real, real nice guy. Uh, look across the room. Freaking Sensei Kreese is smoking a cigar and drinking a scotch. And uh, yeah, it's a real like it's a real suck fest. Not that it sucks, but we're all kind of sucking each other off. Y- yeah, I, I gather that. Yeah. So what this con had done? God, uh, the kind I went to called the Alamo City Comic Con. Uh, one of the best cons that I've been to all year, if not ever. Um, all the best kinds I've gone to has been, have been Texas, by the way. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, have you ever been to like a wedding or something and you have to stay at the hotel? Of course, you're, you're, you want to hang out. You're going to hang out late. Yeah. Drinking, maybe in someone's room, maybe in the lounge area. And you get shut down because you're too loud. Yeah. Um, you yeah. Keep it down. There are other people. Definitely. What this con did, um, genius. Um, they, the best way to get around this, being too loud, run out the whole hotel. Huh. And that's what they did. Good they for them. Out the whole hotel, and they put all the guests, the 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 featured guests there, and their management and everyone, and the con staff all stayed at this hotel. Had the whole place to ourselves. Stay up as long as we wanted. Could drink as well. We could drink as long as we wanted. And then you know people brought alcohol. Yeah. So basically, we had the whole run of the place. It was awesome. It was it was fantastic. So no drunken altercation. These no two, drunken these altercations. These two guys couldn't have been nicer. Which was weird. Like, Man. I wanted, I want, I'm just, you know, he's, I know them from the movies. You want them to, like, punch you in the face. Well, yeah. Yeah. Just, like, yeah. Okay, so let's get this next one. All right, next one. Uh, I get my balls handed to me by Point Break, Tank Girl, League of Their Own Actress, Lori Petty. Now, are we talking literally or figuratively? I'm going to say true. It's Lori Petty. Yes. She's, like, hot and amazing. She is. Yeah. She is amazing. Uh, I never met her before. I'm a big, I'm a huge Point Break. I fan. saw the picture that you posted. Yes, she looks sexy as shit. Yeah, I actually really liked her in Free Willy. Oh yeah, Free Willy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I liked her in uh, in the Army Now. Yes, she was and, good. Um, in, uh, obviously, shows. I liked her uh, best in uh, A League of Their Own. Yeah, there's, there's no kit crying in baseball. Yes, no crying in baseball. Yeah, yeah I was, mean, I mean, there is the ever ever ongoing battle of did Dottie drop the ball on purpose. Is it an ongoing argument? I think so. I think she did. I don't. You don't think she did? No. Okay. I don't. You think she dropped the ball on purpose? I believe she may have. You I know don't... what? We'll ask her next time. Well, uh, yeah. We'll ask her. She wouldn't know, right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, maybe not. I mean, I think that's like a Dottie Henson thing. Yeah. You gotta no, ask I, Dottie. I, uh, I went up to meet her, and uh, one of the nice things about being a guest is kind of like, uh, you know, there's a... You know, whole you you can kind of meet the other guests like, and it's cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not it's like a, total it's a like kind of you know mutual like. Oh, girl. you're a guest. Oh, I'm a guest here too. Yeah. Like, hey, how you doing? Uh, I'm Ming from Comic Con. Like, why? What's that? Yeah. What the hell is that? Who are you? Wh- why are you talking to me? Wait, I know you. You were in Goonies. Yes, I was. Yeah. Yeah. Drug dealers would wear those polyester rags. Yes. So uh, yes. So uh, it was cool. I got a picture with her. I talked to her for a little bit. Uh, before I left, though, she was like, "Hey, Ming, go long." Like she's gonna throw a football, which was cool because in Point Break she plays football on the beach with yeah Keanu and Patrick Swayze. So I go along. Oh, Patrick and, um, Swayze! I guess someone had given her a little soccer ball, like 
uh, a stress reliever. Yeah. And uh, she wrote my name on it. She signed it and she threw it at me. Ah. So that's yeah. cute. So, so she literally. It was figurative. Well, literally. Just figured. I thought, hey, literally I thought that was cool. Literally handed you some balls. It's cool. Every so often, uh, you know, you meet, you get to meet somebody super cool. Like okay. That. All right. Uh, let's see. Brian, Mike, and Ming crash a cosplay contest. True or false? False. <laughs> Man. So first day. God, I Con's suck about at to end. Uh, some kind of officials come up to all three of us. They're like, hey, would you... Judge a cosplay contest. Well, technically, you're not crashing it if they asked you. Well, hold on. Uh, no, no, no. Hold okay, tell, tell the rest of your damn story. Yeah, you're hit that you fucking go. buzzer again. <laughs> and I, uh, we were like, you know, it's the end of the day. Things are slowing down. I said, yeah, we'll come judge a cosplay contest. What? Kids, whatever. And they're like, no. Kids, teenagers, and adults. Uh, so we get up there, and we're waiting. And it turns out they don't want us to judge the comp- cosplay contest. They have judges. Mm-hmm. Far more qualified judges. judges. They're cosplayers. They want us to host the contest, like MC the contest. Okay. And I'm like, what are you talking about? Why, why do you, why, why do you want us to do this? Sort of, like, well, the guy who was supposed to do it, uh, his flight got delayed, and we thought you guys would be really good. <laughs> so the way we arranged it is, uh, me and Mike got rocked the mic as the MCs, and they gave my, uh, Brian a wireless mic so he could heckle us in the audience. Ah! Oh, nice. So, that's so basically like real life. Yes. Okay. So it worked out. Uh, I thought I thought we did. I thought we were decent. I'm kind of out of my element with the whole cosplay thing because I don't cosplay. I appreciate cosplay, of course. Well, yeah, you appreciate it a little too much sometimes. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing. All right. <laughs> you post a lot of girls uh, in cosplay sure. costumes. You know? Sure. Well, yeah, you, I think you get a lot cool. of shit for it, too. I think it's cool. It's kind of like... um. I think Mike described it best. It's uh, superheroes don't exist in real life. So getting your photo with someone who may actually have an even more accurate depiction of the costume than would be in real life is kind of cool. Now, yeah. if that's even fe- yeah. if, that's, no, no, no. if that's female, then even better. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. If it's a female in like a short skirt. Yeah. So we got judges cos- judge cos- cosplay contest. Yeah. It was It was fun. It was fun. You technically didn't crash it, though. They asked you. So um, bring right, that little. Fun. All right. You win. I got that one right. All right. We, we, it was sort of a last minute thing. I, I Pull the audience. I got that one right. You didn't crash pull shit. Pull the audience? Yeah. You okay. didn't crash shit. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, that night, Ming eats his weight in cheese for dinner. What do you think? False. Well, almost. Did you? So, <laughs> did you actually weigh it out? Because <laughs> I'm going to call shenanigans. I, I didn't. But uh, anyone in the San Antonio area, I was taking this place called Chris Madrid's. Okay. They're, oh, that burger. You saw that burger. Not your weight. That was give a me lot a ring. of cheese. Give me a ring. Yeah, that was a yeah. lot of cheese. I'm calling shenanigans on you. And uh, I just want to give a shout out to Chris Madrid's. They're known, known for that burger burgers. was something serious. And now uh, what they do is, you know, they have the burger, but uh, I don't. They literally throw a pound of cheese on and yeah. melt it on top. Yeah, but and, you don't weigh a pound. I, I almost weigh a pound. It was it was it was a lot of cheese. You weigh a lot of pounds. It was a lot I mean of not cheese. like a lot of pounds, a lot average of cheese. Pounds. So your guess, did I finish that burger or not? Yeah you did. I did. <laughs> yeah you did. Very good. That picture is on uh, uh, I know you. <laughs> I think I tweeted that photo yes. of the burger. It's uh Minchin thirty seven. Yeah. You put on Twitter and Instagram. Pretty much every time I turned on any kind of social media I yes. saw food this week. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's what I do. Yeah, well you know. That's what I do. I don't know if you eat that much meat, but you would if you do, you would have loved it. I like chicken. Yeah, you, you don't eat beef? Sometimes. Oh. Sometimes I need some, oh, some beef need in some, my mouth. Yes. Yeah. I, I, yeah. So, next. Yeah. All right. Oh, I know the answer to this one already. Uh, all right. Ming gets into a drinking contest with cosplay ladies and passes out. That's true. And I know that's true because I was getting the text messages. Um, Did I text you? A few times. But um, oh, the man. next day... I said something about like, oh, like, how's your trip? Blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. And you said something about, uh, like, you went up into your hotel room at one o'clock right. and charge your phone right. or like three o'clock or something right, like that. Right. And you don't remember going to sleep. No, I don't. So that means that you were at a drinking contest with cosplay ladies and you passed out. That's how I justified my answer on that. All right. One. It's pretty much true. Awesome. Yes. Perfect. So you were, so we obviously well, here's got the, the thing. 
Um, shots we, are very bad. Well, I was going to say, we obviously got the, you went up to your room at 1 o'clock or 3.30, yeah. whichever one it was. I believe it was somewhere between one thirty and 2. Yeah. So you went up there to charge your phone yeah. and passed out on your bed. I did. Alone. Yes, of course. Um, so how did we get there? Was this the night of the cosplay contest? No, this is, yes, it was. Okay. And um, it was after eating the burger. Okay. Uh, I went back to the hotel. Okay. Um, you know, I had a beer. Um, and then people start wanting shots, which shot, is bad. Shot, 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 yeah, exactly. Shot, 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 exactly. Yeah. And uh, I meet this girl named Mia. She's a co- professional cosplayer, does it full time. Uh, she goes by the name Anna Mia. Why, why, why are you looking at me like that? No reason. No, she was at the. Po- she, let me just tell you. Okay, tell okay, okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Can I tell the story? Because you can tell the fucking story, but let me just tell okay. you. I'm going I'm to jump on Twitter side for a second. Okay. If my boyfriend was right. doing half of this shit that you were doing, Why, I would have castrated on. him and Why, killed eating, him a long time burgers? ago. Eating burgers. I met this girl eating? named Mia who was a no, professional hold cosplayer. On, hold on. Dude, would we would please, be done at that point. Please let me tell the story. Yeah, go ahead. Tell okay. the story. Tell I'm, the story. I'm at the bar. You're at the bar. About, about to order another beer. Another beer. And she's sitting there next to me. Mm. And she recognizes me from the show. She's like, hey, I ordered too many shots. Would you like one? Oh, come on. That doesn't happen in real life. Sure it does. No. And she had like that's three- like the worst come on. That's like my so she was not picking. You're drinking a Guinness. God. Like next I time I go to, to the God. bar, next time I'm single and I go to the fucking I bar and I God. see like a hot guy across hold the on, bar. Hold on, I'm just gonna be like, excuse me, sir. I ordered too many shots of Patron. Would you like to get me drunk hold and on. take advantage of me? Hold on. No, you're a hot cosplay girl. Do you need to be like resorting to these weak tactics to pick guys? Do that a con up? No. I think I'm just saying. what happened was she ordered too many shots. She offered me one of the extras. How do you order too many shots? I want one oh, shot of Patron. No. Um, You're like, hey, you want one? You want one? All right, give me three. And then I was like, oh, you, oh sorry, I got one already. Uh, sounds It suspicious. wasn't Patron. It was honey whiskey. Oh, I like honey whiskey. Well, that's what it was. It was good. I'm just saying Patron is what comes to my mind when I drink shots. It was good. So I, I took the shot. Obviously. Because, well, how do I... How, how do I refuse the shot? I don't know. Say, hey, I'm married. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Or or say, I'll gladly drink Wait, the shot on. with you, what but is- just know that my penis belongs to my wife. I think I made that clear. Oh, oh did you? That's my ring. I think I made that clear. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I made that clear, my friend. I'm sorry. Like, seriously, I'm actually, as soon as we're done podcast, yes. like, I'm going to walk over to the Dublin, okay. or actually, I'm going to walk over to whatever bar is closest okay. to here, and I'm just going to order, like, four shots, okay. and I'm going to turn to the hottest guy in the bar, and I'm going to say, hey, I ordered too many shots, okay. and see how he reacts to that statement. He's going to take the shot. Obviously, because he's going to think he's going to be taking me home, too. No, absolutely not. I'm pulling Twitter on that. Do you need to, do you, but here's my thing. Do you need to resort to that to pick up the hot guy? No. No, so I. <laughs> so you're drinking a Guinness. One hundred percent. So I ordered seven shots, and I Hold only on. meant to order so one. Professional cosplayer. Whoops. Got dudes hanging off her at, 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 at every turn. I'm sure. Does not need to resort to such weak tactics to pick up anybody. Yeah. Was not picking me up. Yeah. Was being nice yeah. and kind, of offering me a shot. Oh man. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Now, what do you do when you get offered a shot? You offer one back. Oh Jesus Christ! Christ. What? It's been nice. Okay. So uh, so she orders too many shots, yes. gives you one. Right. You order too many shots, give I her one. I did not order too many shots. I'm you like, ordered, hey. Or you ordered the right shot. amount of shots for you and her, ordered shots. Uh, so then what? Did she come back like, oh, like I still have seven more shots in the, no, in the side of the bar no, over here? No, absolutely not. Absolutely okay. not. Okay. No, but come on. The nice thing is offer another one back, right? Yeah. So which is what I did. And then along somewhere along the line, someone... Someone offered me another one. Wasn't her. Was it a girl? No, I think it was a dude, actually. Oh. I so, believe it was okay. a dude. Okay. So I Now had we're getting somewhere. That, and I'm done by then. It's Two shots. Three. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah. It's a lot. Okay, for you, yeah. I could, I could yeah. see that. So, so I acted responsibly. I went up to charge my phone, and I passed out. I went to sleep. Okay. Next thing I know, it's four in the morning, and I'm like, oh, shit. And I have texts from people going, hey, where are you? <laughs> and, yeah. And are you coming back? Yeah. Okay. Why do you shake your head at me? I, I, I'm 
not shaking my head. All right. What? Okay. Next one. This one's a little uh, weird. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, um, I remember last time I came back from Houston, I brought back this thing called the Tentacle Kitty. Octopussy. Yeah. It's a cat. It's a mashup of cat and uh, kind of like a squid with ten tentacles. A stuffed animal. Octopussy. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm enamored with these things. I can't yeah. stop buying them. Octopussy. So, uh, so next, uh, true or false, Ming buys seven Tentacle Kitties. I'm going to say false. All right. I bought five of them. <laughs> Where are you keeping five well, octopuses? The uh, they came on little mini ones. Oh. So, so I started buying those. It's a tiny pussy. I support them. It's a, like they're an independent business. So, so what would you uh, do with these five ten, Tentaclekitty.com. Uh, I bought two little ones. I bought a big one to keep at the table, like a good luck mascot. Obviously. Uh, the big one I ended up giving away to the dude who was working the table with us. His daughter came. Okay. And she, she was like, oh. And I, I was like, dude, take it. Um, there you go. So that was for, I think I bought another one to replace that one. I think I gave that one away. And then I bought another one, for like a special edition one. That one I gave to my cousin. Okay. But um, they're going to be the next big thing, though. I actually... I have um, two little ones. I'm going to give I th- I'm gonna give one to you. Oh, you're you going to give wanna, me an octopussy? I would love an octopussy. You want a testicle pussy? I want a testicle pussy. <laughs> that was your name for it. I know. Time. Now I call it octopussy. Um, you know, it's got I'll, ten, tentacles, though, so I'll, it's not octo. I'll, I'll take your octo plus two pussy. Okay. <laughs> Um, I had two I little actually, ones. I think I shipped them back. I can't find them, so I, I, I must have shipped hold them. Hold on, back. I'm trying to find this thing. They're called yeah, uh, tentaclekitty.com. I'll give them a plug. They're cool animals. Hold on, there's this thing that I collect. Okay. Ah, here they are. What's it called? Um, Excuse I co- me. okay. So go on one of your computers. Okay. Uh, Google skull animal figurines. Skull animal figurines. Animal. Big. And this reminds me of your testicle oh, yeah. pussy. All right, I'm waiting for it to pull up here. Oh, I co- yeah, those are cool. I collect these things. I collect these little figurines. Kind of like a mashup of animals and uh, like Nightmare for, for Christmas. Yeah, I uh, I collect these little things, and I have some in stuffed animals, and um, some I just have the little figurines for. I'll uh, I think they're at my house actually, but um, nice. my ex boyfriend used to buy them for me. And um, I was actually in Philly this past week. I went to see uh, Need to Breathe in concert. Yeah. And I was, was looking it? in. It was amazing. Uh, great band. I was looking in. Um, we, we went to a sex shop and we're looking around there. And um, which a little weird. My You went to a sex shop? Yeah. Oh, the one in Philly. I've been to that. On, no, no, no. Um, there was, there, it was a different one. There were, we actually was it the went one in, on like, South Street? It is the one on South Street, but there's like four on South Street. Okay. So, I mean, we went in the mall. Um, but there was this like a very not attractive woman upstairs. Um, downstairs was all the uh, the outfits. Wait, why you say she worked there? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. And upstairs was doesn't all, matter. All she the, knows uh, her shit. Doesn't the, matter what she looks toys. like. Toys. Okay. And so uh, my boyfriend just happened to be standing there, and she goes, "Oh, do you want to try this like electric shock thing?" And it was like this this weird like you put a fucking current through it, like an electrical current, okay. and then like you touch somebody, and like you feel like the the vibration basically. And like I just looked over, like she's touching my boyfriend. I'm like, what is going on? Is he, does and he, he look like he's being pleasured? Well, he was like, he's like, I really like this thing, but like, you could tell she's like getting off on him, like being like oh, into right. it. And I just like looked at her. I was like, yo, Ugg, get away from my Ugg. fucking boyfriend! Like, oh, she was ugly. She had like, okay, like girls with like shaved heads look like adorable. Sure. Um, not this one. Okay. Um, and and she just right. like a little too much black lipstick. All right. Um, and weird weird clothes all right i hear is it your mom no oh. <laughs> it's right. it's not it's not somewhere you could put on no <laughs> it's it's tony oh now i'm waiting for my mom to call me in a minute um a weekly mom call uh so did you get anything did you no, no we didn't but you didn't um, buy any like you didn't buy anything disappointing all right I thought there was good, this was going to be a good story about you. Oh, know, no, no, no. We didn't buy anything. Loading um, up on shit. Um, no, we, we were looking around, but we didn't buy anything. But uh, no, and then in the store next door was like this weird um, like uh, like spiritual store. And in the window, they had those um, those little like skull animals. Oh, cool. And I was like, oh, I collect those. Yeah. And my boyfriend's like, really? Why? <laughs> I was like. He hey. looked down on you. Yeah. Why? Why are you collecting these tentacle kitties? And yeah. they're cool. That's why. Exactly. Yeah. So. That's why. All right, so nothing happened in the sex shop. No, no, no. Other than like uh, this woman. Did like, she try to touch you? 
Oh, she did. Oh, and how did it feel? Well, he was like, come here, you got to feel this. Was it, like, did it feel And then good? she started putting her hands on me, and I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Was she groping you? A little bit. Like, she was kind nice. of like going up my arm. She had like some weird little thing with like Like points. a kettle prod? Yeah. Like, uh, ah. yeah, it was like, it was just a little weird. Um, Bzz, ah, fuck. But, uh, but other than that, you know, like it was, it was very pleasurable. All right. Kind of weird though. All right. TentacleKitty.com. Um, let's see. Uh, Ming falls in love with the fully dressed cosplay girl. Uh, true. Uh, all right, so this girl comes up to the table. <laughs> Obviously, she is dressed up. She is cosplaying as the, as they call it um, at a comic book cl- uh, convention. And her costume, Samantha, she's cosplaying as a female Walt Flanagan. Oh, I remember this picture. Yes, uh, she called. She was calling herself Walt Flanagan girl. She I like the, that. She had the devil's hat. She had the staff shirt. She even went as far as to find capris, like, like prop, yoga pants, prop with the, pants with the three st- with the stripes yeah. on them, like what like Walt would wear. It was genius, and she was and she. Uh, you remember the picture, right? Yes. Yeah, she looked cute too, right? She looked adorable. Yeah. There was one thing that was missing, and somebody did comment What's on that, it, or that was off, and somebody did comment yeah. about it. She was smiling. She was smiling. Yeah, there was no grimace. Yes. Oh, someone else uh, was like, "Where's her supercuts haircut?" Yeah. 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 <laughs> um, no, I thought, I that, thought was that was actually on my really, Twitter feed. Twitter. Really brilliant. Did you show Walt? No, I didn't. Why not? I didn't really get a chance to today. Hmm. But uh, look, at, it's on my Twitter feed, uh, Ming Chen 37. Um, I, it was Jean. She had the yeah the backwards hat. Um, yeah. You know, she, it, it was like, it was actually, great, wasn't it? It was actually one of the most brilliant cosplays I've ever seen. I think seen. it might have, yeah. I think yeah, it might have been. It was been. so understated, but, and it wasn't like skanky Walt Flanagan. Like, oh, she, I want to see that. She, Will somebody do a skanky Walt Flanagan? You, you want me to be a skanky Walt Can you? Flanagan for, for Halloween? Yes. I was going to say for Christmas, for Halloween. Yes. Yeah, I'll just, I'll, I'll come in here. Okay. Yeah. All right. And will you show, you'll show it to him? That'd be awesome. <laughs> that sounded dirty. That would be awesome. So, what's next? All right, what's next? Uh, let's see. Um, did, 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 oh, I just have a note here. Um, so there, were, uh, there were a lot of cosplay, professional cosplayers. The Rocket Raccoon. Oh, well, a girl came up. She was dressed as Rocket Rock, Raccoon. Yeah, I, I feel like, in, like I feel like yeah, the Rocket thing kind of fell by the wayside. And I feel like like a lot of people that was I was reading comments yeah. on that they were like, oh well, why does she have to wear a mini skirt? You know, and she, that's where she kind of chimed in. in. She's like, like, I'm like Rock a Rocket, Rocket like Raccoon. fuck you, dumbasses. Um, yeah, I feel like the Rocket thing fell behind. But I also feel like if you're a female and you're cosplaying, why wouldn't you be wearing a skirt? Cosplay is supposed right. to be sexy. Right. So like the whole like point like she didn't even need to be rocket raccoon because like rocket raccoon when a girl is cosplaying it should be wearing a mini skirt yeah but i like the mashup though yeah i did thought that was clever and um uh, uh this picture of me with a female captain america um her yes. costume was amazing big shout out to her and um yeah big shout out to the the professional cosplay is a thing now don't know yeah. if you're aware of this yeah where, it is well um, there's like tv shows about it yes yeah. And um, certain uh, talented cosplayers can make a living out of this. Yeah, exactly. Traveling to cons, uh, selling prints of themselves. Yeah. Um, and uh, you're coming up with new costumes, and uh, I think it's great. Yeah, no, it's uh, you would. So a big shout out to the ones I met. Uh, Anna Mia, who I mentioned earlier. Yes. Who, who With the three shots. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I, I bought too many shots, and oops, yeah. I want to um, be uh, naked in your bed. Yeah, my homie, uh, Leanna Vamp, who is mm-hmm. like a huge... Uh, cosplayer and uh, uh, Crystal Star, nice. big shout out! All right, next one. Uh, Mike pulls a Cindy Brady during the Comic Book Men one hour panel. You know what a Cindy Brady is? No. Lights come on on the camera and he freezes, frozen. I'm gonna say true. Say word. Um, no, come on, you know Mike Zapsic. He 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 can't Christ. he can't shut up. Christ. Um, we uh we did a panel. Uh, you know we always do a panel. Um, much funner. It's it's fun with all three of us. Um, Brian Johnson lives for these panels. He yeah. doesn't even really necessarily like sitting at the table and yeah, signing I, and stuff. I would imagine the Brian Johnson if he could just hates that. if he could sit there and and do a panel for three days straight, he would. Yeah, because he gets to like pick on you. Yes, you know. Yeah, and then we get to Q and A. It's yeah. basically Q and A is what it amounts to. Yeah, and he gets to make fun of people, make asking questions. Yeah, yeah. You know, Brian Johnson loves being mean to people. Yeah, I think my favorite question was. Um, What's the most expensive thing at the store? And Brian Johnson answers back, an hour with me. There you go. Yes. There you go. Uh, the panel Who's audi- buying that one? The panel audio, uh, I, do, I did record it. 
Obviously. Uh, will be up as a future episode of I Sell Comics, possibly as early as this week. Had the GoPro cameras running. You'll see nice. a video on that. Yeah. It was cool. Their, uh, their main like panel room, there's a big replica of the Alamo behind us. I pretty, saw that, actually. Awesome. I did. It was I cool. saw the pictures. It was cool. Uh, no, if you know Mike Zapsic, he does not freeze up at anything. Fair he'll, enough. Uh, he'll, he'll be good. Um, all right. So uh, usually at these cons, what happens is uh, they set up a photo op for you. Where there's a like a pre- for professional photographer. Yeah. It's like the blue backdrop. Yeah. Get a picture taken with your favorite celebrity. And then it gets printed out immediately after. Yeah. So they set one up for us. Uh, I happened to look at the prices they were charging. Usually we go from anywhere from $55 to $65. You get all three of us. So it's sort of a it's pretty decent deal. Yeah. Uh, this one they said was $80. 80 bucks, Samantha. A little higher than we're used to. It's a little steep. That's what? That's... About what twenty seven per? Yeah, I mean, you know, Mike Zapps looks definitely worth that, and Brian Johnson probably not, but definitely not yet. Yeah, so I bring it all the way back down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so no one buys this comic book man eighty dollar photo op. That's true, true or, or false? false? Yes. Come on, I'm gonna say false. You're right. We got ten people. Ten I'm, people I'm, I'm only saying false because I know ten at least pe- one story. Ten so. people sh- shelled out $80. $80 to take their picture with us. There you go. Thank you. I have to thank them, first of all. Yeah, you do. Now, you would think for $80, it'd be like really good service. Yeah. Um, they like rush in and out. Uh, now, when we got in, now, I, I had been warned before that we had 10 of them. Uh, but we got in there, five people came in. They're like, all right, you're done. I'm like, what happened to the other five? I guess they were wrong. And we turned to leave. And we're walking out, and there are people in line going, why are you leaving already? What? You're, are you done? I'm like, yeah, that's, they told us we're done. Why? They're like, because we're in line for you guys. The other five people were still in line. They didn't tell them to come in. Oh, man. So we rushed back, get our photos taken with them. It's all fine and dandy. Come to find out those last half, they lost their pictures. <gasps> oh. And so we graciously went back and did it over. Oh, well, that end. was very nice of you guys. Yeah, but I mean, for 80 bucks, man. Yeah, you'd for think 80 it would be, bucks. 80 bucks, you'd think it would be a little better, right? Yeah. Yeah, so. And uh, what, what usually what we offer is if you come and get your photo taken with us, bring it back to the booth. We'll sign it for you for free. Yeah. I mean, it's only, yeah. I mean, not everybody. I don't know if anybody else does that. Yeah. Yeah. Honest with you, probably not. But we're like for fucking eighty bucks. Yeah, like, seriously, for eighty, for 80 bucks, bucks, like I'll, you might as well just like for, you know, 80, fucking eighty bucks. Like I'll 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 bend over. You can spank me. You're like kick me in the ass. For That's 80 dirty. Bucks. No one wants to spank you. No. Well, no. then kick me in the ass. Then I don't care. Well, yeah, everyone wants to do that. Yeah. So I guess what happened was uh, some people got there so late that they didn't have time to come back and get a sign. So I was like, you know, mail it up. I'll, we'll sign it for you. Oh, that's sweet. Yes. Uh, there was one photo op though. Uh, give her a shout out. Uh, there's Twitter user out there. Which we know and love. Her name is Amanda. Goes by the Twitter handle Amanda M Danger. Mm-hmm. Uh, loved to throw barbs at us. Yeah, good natured for the most part. Um, and she was very happy to meet us. I was very happy to meet her in person. It was cool. Uh, but she's a Tom Steve Dave listener, and as such, uh, she was enamored with the whole shoe thing that they like to throw at me. You're, are you aware of the? Whole yes, shoe I'm thing? aware of the whole shoot. So thing. what she wanted to do, she paid eighty dollars for the photo op. What she wanted to do. Was get her a picture of me and her fighting over her shoes. I like that. Yeah, I like and that. That's what we did. Picture came out great. Where I'm like pulling one at one end, she's pulling at the other. It was funny. And then at the end, she came back and she had her <laughs> she had a sign her shoe. Aww, so I, that's I, sweet. If that's hey man, if they ain't worth eighty bucks, I don't know what is. There you go. It was a good picture. Um, now we're we're leaving our photo op, and uh, Robert England comes in. Robert okay. England, familiar with him, Freddie? Yes. And um, I'm a big fan of the Nightmare on Elm Street. Yeah. Uh, we went to our photo with him. I'm not, actually. Was, really? Well, we I talked first, about this. Yeah, I first watched the movie when I was like uh, four years old, I think. Mm-hmm. So I had like nightmares. Got of, freaked? Yeah, I, like really, really bad. Have you gone back and watched it? Nope. Oh. I refuse. Uh, I don't think you'd be freaked out anymore. No, probably not. But <laughs> I just... Actually, huh... I I do remember one scene where um it was in the hospital and he's um using the girl as a marionette by her like veins. Yes. Yeah, no. That will always creep fucking yeah, that will like I don't think I could actually watch them again. That will like always creep the shit out of me. Yeah, so we're leaving. He's coming in after us in the thing and um you know, I'm like, "Hey man, how you doing? Nice to meet you." I stick out my hand to shake his. He shakes mine. 
he's wearing the glove. Ooh. He's wearing the, the, the Freddy glove. Ooh. And I'm like, this is fucking awesome. Ooh. It was kind of cool. He's wearing the Freddy glove. It's a little glove. weird. Yeah. So, you know, that's, yeah. There we go. Yeah. So, so how badly did I do? Um, that's not, oh, uh, you did pretty bad. I was going to say, we don't, like we don't have right. page two. I have page two. Oh, do you have yeah. page two? Okay. I'm yeah. sorry. I didn't know we had page two. Oh, uh, well, I had one more. Uh, uh, this last one. Ming gets into a rap battle with Vanilla Ice. True. No, I didn't. But I did see Vanilla Ice. They had set up this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles party. <laughs> and uh, special guest Vanilla Ice. I think I mentioned this last You week. did, actually. And I, um, I, I saw your pictures. Like I said, I... I Stock My too. pictures came out really well, so uh, I got I get this I get to go on go kind of backstage like yeah. side stage, and uh, it was guys still got it like make fun of him all you want, but he's he's a decent rapper. It's good, uh, good. I'm good. I, I will say. <laughs> now all I all I really all we really wanted to hear was two songs. Obviously, Ice Ice Baby, and the one from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which he did. Obviously, and then he did he did like fifteen songs, so. They were, they were good. I just don't. It was a cool atmosphere. It was really, it was packed in the place. I just don't know if I'd be excited to. Uh... It was an exciting atmosphere. Now, I mean, I, I, honestly, I think everyone was just waiting for him to do those two songs. Yeah. So. But it was cool. It was, a, it was a really cool throwback, though. If, like, if you would have told me in the early 90s that one day you'll be on stage with Vanilla Ice, which I was, because there was at one point... He starts pulling ladies up to dance with them and stuff. And you just jumped on up. I didn't jump in. I was already on stage on the side. So, you know, ladies start dancing and uh, someone pulls me out. I, I, you know, I'm dancing around. Yeah. Somebody pulls you out, like both your feet just walking forward. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm dancing around. It's all, it's all ladies. And I look over and there's another dude there. It's Walter Jones, the Black Ra- Power Ranger. For some reason, when you started saying Walt, yeah. I wanted you to say Walt Flanagan. It wasn't Walt Flanagan. Even yeah. though he wasn't there, I wanted it to just like Walt Flanagan just like took a trip down there no. and just jumped was, on I don't, stage. I don't, I don't, yeah. No, I don't know if you ever watched Power Rangers, but yes. he, was, he played the black. He, not. He also happens to be African American, but he played well, the black. Well, there's a reason for that because, ranger. like you know, the yellow one is Asian. Asian. The okay, pink one never, is a girl. I never liked that. But yeah. Just to distinguish. The red one's an asshole. Just to distinguish. Um, yeah, we're dancing. I'm looking at him. He's looking at me. We're smiling. We're like, I realize we're the only two dudes up there dancing around. Actually, it's not true. When Vanilla Ice came out, and started rapping. It's this uh, heavy set dude jumps on stage and starts starts dancing around. And I see Vanilla Ice getting mad at security. He's like, why the hell did you let this guy up here? Like, what the fuck? You're not doing your job. Yeah. Like, get him off. And they drag him off. Later on, we... Did you watch Breaking Bad? I didn't watch the last eight episodes. Okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, there's a dude on Breaking Bad. His name's Combo. He was one of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was him. Oh, was like nice. I don't, why he was there, I don't know. That's a little awkward. And yeah, kind of why weird he was random. in San Antonio, Texas, I don't know. Maybe he lives there. He might. Why he was at the at Vanilla Ice, I don't know. But Maybe it was, he's a fan. I was, I was like, holy fuck, is that Combo? And it was him. But he, yeah, he got dragged off stage. But the weird. reason they let him on there was because he was fucking Combo. Yeah. Yeah. He got, he, sorry to spoil it, he got shot by a little kid. Yeah. That was him. So. Yes. Uh, I thought it was weird, though. Vanilla Ice's shtick now, apparently, is... While he's rapping, he had on flanked on both sides. He had cases of water bottles, and his thing was to keep grabbing a water bottle and throw it on the audience. Not the bottle, but he would spray down the audience with water. It was really weird. Has Vanilla Ice never not been weird? I guess not. But I mean, he he's like a weird guy. He had a you know he had a sh- he had a shtick and and um you know he played it up. That's a little and it weird worked to out me. for him. I don't know. It's and now he's flipping houses. So. Yeah, it's just a little weird to me. But he kept he, throwing water on people. And uh, he did this one thing where he took a full bottle of water, laid it on the ground. He would stomp on it, and it would spray the crowd. That this one time he did it, it went full on in this chick's face. <laughs> and she was like, what the fuck? I just came to see Ice Ice Baby. I didn't come to get drenched. Drenched in the face by Vanilla yeah, Ice. sprayed that in the face by sounds, Vanilla Ice. Sounds dirty. Yeah. So we got like 10 minutes left. Yes. Would you like to talk hockey? I do. I actually want to talk fantasy hockey. Okay. I don't want to talk real hockey yet. Okay. Well, season starts in two days, my friend. It does. Two freaking days. Two freaking days. Um, uh, Devils have been playing very well in the preseason. Yeah, preseason means nothing, though. No, but they beat the Rangers twice, I believe, in the preseason, which is fine with me. Well, uh, I wouldn't expect them to be putting up those numbers all season. Eh, I don't eh. know. I don't know. 
Uh, well, most of my team is actually Rangers. I had my fantasy draft this past okay. week. It was funny too because last Monday, obviously, you were away. Um, I was just I was off. I was just kind of doing something, and it like dawned on me like, oh fuck, tonight's my fantasy draft in like an hour. So you decided to play fantasy hockey. I did. I decided. What's I at stake? For the first of all, well, nothing. We nothing. No There's money. No money. Um, well, what's we're, the point, we're all fucking then? poor. But here's my thing though. Like I I always like start playing. <laughs> And, like, halfway through the season, I kind of just stop. Uh, so I like, do when I start getting blown out, yeah. Yeah, well, like, even if I'm winning, I just kind of dis- disinterested. And um, so I, uh, like, a minute or, like, an hour before the, the draft, I'm texting the commissioner of our league. And I'm like, do I have to play? And he's like, yes, because yeah, I can't, can't get can't. anybody else now. No, you can't. Like, so it's like, Jesus fucking Welch? Christ. Like, my computer wouldn't start. I couldn't get it on my iPad. Like, oh I couldn't God. log on. So I actually had to do the whole draft you're, from the, my you're, phone. You're, I'm sorry. I don't mean to sound sexist, but this is why we don't – this is why there aren't a lot of ladies doing this. Yeah, like, because. I just, like – I I just – it was, because like, I, technology, well, like, wasn't with me. And so you I – didn't prepare I, the day before? I literally, you like – look at, like, no, uh, fantasy no. cafe. Nope. I you literally. Didn't per, you didn't. Uh, I literally. Do, you didn't do a mock draft. I didn't do a mock draft. I've oh, never done a mock draft. Never this done a mock draft. This is why we don't put any stakes then. So, um, so I literally did the whole draft off my cell phone, which was annoying as shit. Oh but, my um, god, that's terrible. You can't. Well, here's the thing though. You can um, draft like shit. So, then you can't see like draft orders. There's no, no big screen. No. Like, so, uh, oh my god, okay, it was terrible. It was fucking terrible. <laughs> Every other time I've done a draft, I've done it with my boyfriend I was dating at the time, and we go to a diner. We both have our laptops yeah. open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's across yeah. from me. I'm across from yeah. him. You know, and like obviously, like not dating that kid anymore. Um, totally had to draft differently. Was totally unprepared. So, uh, so oh I mean, like, God. I only have one rule when I play fantasy hockey that I need a Boston goalie. I do okay. think that Rask is the goalie I would want. Even where, if uh, where were you in the draft order? We had ten people. I was seventh. Ooh, okay. So picking a goalie first actually kind of makes sense because yeah, well, I was late enough to not get any of the good centers and scorers, okay. but I still like having a good goalie is, and Rask is a good draft pick to have, um, you know, so, uh, and obviously everyone knew it. Okay. And I think when they saw my order, everyone knew that's how it was going to go down. Okay. And I also think that people probably were a little afraid to take him because I would that's- fucking kill them. Um, that's another thing. You're like, so, you're so, you're too predictable. Well, I mean, here's the thing though. So it gets around to the seventh pick and I get my goalie and okay. that was it. So the rest of the draft is like, okay, well, I kind of didn't care at that point. All right. Um, so this is my draft team in no particular order because I kind of wrote them in a fucking jumbled right, is mess. This, this isn't no, this isn't in your draft order? No, I have oh. no idea. I didn't even write it down in my draft order. Um, God. Uh, I think I picked uh, P.K. Subban second, actually. All right, actually. that's a good pick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm just... Hold I'm on. Uh, d- what do you get points for? Can you outline real quick? Uh, goals, obviously. Oh, shit. God, do you need me to do this? Too? No, no. Goals, assists. Uh, um, goals, assists, um, uh, penalties in minutes, uh, f- save percentage. Hold okay, on. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, well, saves, obviously. Yeah. Uh, shutouts, you might get extra, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, wins. Wins. Okay. Uh a goals assists, penalties and minutes. Hang on. Uh, power play goals, shorthanded goals. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's cool. Um, you know, stuff like that. All right. Um, plus or minus. Um, okay. Oh, plus. Okay. That's good. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, so PK Subban, good. All right. Um, so my centers, I'll do it this way. So my centers, and we have like a lot of people. We got, um, like four bench spots and, uh, four utility spots. Okay. So we got like a lot. This was like 18 fucking rounds. I was like so tired by the end of it. My, uh, my centers, 18? like something like that. Uh, oh my, my centers, I got, uh, Le Cavalier, Patrice uh, Bergeron. Okay. Hang on. I got another one down here. Bergeron. Okay. Um, yeah. Who else do I got? Uh, Ryan Kessler. Okay. Um, and like I said, this is in the order I drafted them, and right. this is just what I'm how I'm reading them because, you know, obviously. Um, so my right wings, and uh, a lot of people too. Like obviously, I tried to pick a lot of people that could play two different positions. So if you could do left wing, right wing, you get more. You could potentially get more. Exactly. Points. Okay. So I tried to pick them over maybe okay. somebody who was just uh just a. Uh, Right wing. So my right, left right wings, wing. obviously, Le Cavalier can play left wing. Okay. Uh, I got Milan Lucic. Uh, okay, a little homerism there. Well, uh huh. Right. I got. I actually got a lot of Boston, obviously, and I got a lot of. Do you remember uh, who went first overall? I'm curious. I think Sidney Crosby. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, makes sense. It, Sidney Crosby, uh, you know, uh, Malkin was okay. up there. All right. Um, <clears throat> I got a uh, left wing, uh, Marchand. Uh, who else do I got? Uh, Parise. 
Oh, all right. That's a good pick. Mm-hmm. Uh, Pavel Datsuk. He, he's day to day. Do you get do you get points for Lady Bing Trophy? If you win the Lady Bing Trophy. <laughs> no, you don't. Right. Um, uh, who else? I get Andrew Ladd. Uh, not really crazy about him. Well, you, you, uh, not, uh, uh, Matt Zuccarello. Yeah, you get Girardi, but uh, who's the who's the who the hell is that dude on the Rangers? Uh, got traded to LA. And um, all right, never. Mind. I didn't get him. Oh, all right. Um, my right wings. I got Daniel Alfredson. He's uh, injured right now, but I'm hoping that he's going to come back. I also can put him on injury. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got slots. So you yeah, can, you I can, can put him on injury and pick up all another right, player. Yeah. So I picked okay. him. Um. Uh, where am I on right wings? Uh, Kessler can play right wing. All right. Um, or I was on left wings. No, I was on right wings. Um, pa, 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 pa. uh, Brandon Sad. Um, I think that's all my right wings. Nice. Uh, no, Gabrick. Gabrick, 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 Gabrick on there. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go. yeah. That's what we got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Um, defense. I got PK Subban, Alec Martinez, Vlasic, McDonough. Got a lot of defensemen. Latang. Uh left wings I also oh got uh Tomas Tatar. And then my goaltenders I got Rask and Cam Talbot is my backup. Cam, Cam Talbot? Yeah. Cam he, Talbot? Yeah, he was like I like completely forgot like sixteenth round that I was like, oh shit, I probably Cam, need a backup goalie. Cam so I got Talbot. Cam Talbot. Good is luck like, with that. Yeah, is my backup. Um I like completely forgot. Cam so Talbot. did you see that Henrik goal that he scored on a couple weeks ago? It's like freaking Swiss cheese. <laughs> yeah, man. yeah, I know. I could so, stop uh, that. I know. So, uh, but that was like good luck. Probably like my second to last pick. I was all like, right. fuck, I need another goalie. Cam I, Talbot. I like completely just am like all my hopes on goaltending for me yeah. are on Rask. So I. Uh, yeah, I hope he doesn't get freaking injured, man. Yeah. Well, I mean, and there is. I have. I'm like a big proponent of what I call Tim Thomas disease. So when What's I that? when I first started playing uh, fantasy, uh, it was the year that I got Rask, okay. but it was the year that Tim Thomas was starting, and he right. had like a fantastic season. He did? Um, no, no, I'm sorry. It was the other way around. It was the year that Tim Thomas was starting, but Rask had a fantastic season, and I had Tim Thomas. All right. Because I the year they won the cup. No, no, no. no. Oh, okay. Uh, so so Tim Thomas had a terrible fucking year, and. Uh, so I had Tim Thomas, right. and it fucking sucks. So the next year, I'm like, fuck it. I'm picking Rask, because he had a great year last season. Okay. That was the year that Tim Thomas had, like, the best season of his life, and Rask fucking sucked it up. So the next year, I'm like, well, now I don't know who to pick. So I ended up picking uh, Tim Thomas, yes. and Rask had a great season, and Tim Thomas sucked it up. So I call it Tim Thomas disease when you have a good season, yeah. and then you don't. So uh, I feel like you, Rask you might... You Timmy as your backup. Well, it was funny somebody said that. They're like, Sam, why, why don't you, you just, just pick, pick up, up Tim Thomas? Yeah, so I was like, ah. It was uh, actually uh, Luongo hung in there a really long time because oh. nobody fucking wants Luongo. And I'm like, you know what? I should have just picked him up for old time's sake. Yeah. Right. But uh, that was my, my fantasy hockey. Um, it's oh, – that, right. that was my fantasy it's, hockey. It's, you know, honestly, it was tough to think about hockey right now. I'm still – postseason baseball matters so much to me right now. I know. Like in Baltimore, man. Did I say I had Bergeron too? Yeah. I have Bergeron. I'm yes. like looking at my list. You did, yeah. You, yeah. Patrice, yeah. You said, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I know. You know, I actually – I'm in there with you because I'm, I'm a Cardinals fan. Okay. Baseball. They're still in it. Yeah, they're still in yeah. it. Um, Baltimore, man. I, Baltimore. I, I, I'm Baltimore. Freaking I, Orioles, man. I fucking hate the Orioles. I gotta Why? tell you, like I just don't like them. Why? I just they're don't like such them. a lovable team. I just don't. They like haven't them. been to the the championship series in 17 years, man. And the last time this oh, happened, wow. some asshole named Jeffrey Mayer stuck his glove out, interfered with the, a ball, and they called it a home run. Oh wow! Bullshit. I'm still mad about that. I just, you know, I just don't like them as it's, a team. It's their year. I man. have too many. Friends that are Baltimore Orioles fans, year. and like I don't know That's, why. How is that possible? I didn't, I didn't know any Orioles. I have fans. like five friends That's that are crazy. Baltimore Orioles fans. I'm like that. Like to me, is just too many, too That's many people. Crazy. And they're all like, I mean, they're all. Where like, were they when I was like, at the stadium by myself? They're all like annoying fucking people. Like I just don't like listening. Oh, to why, them. what? You don't have any? You don't have any Yankee fans? No, or I, Red Sox fans. I have Get a lot of Mets here. fans too. Oh, okay, I have Mets fans. Yeah, yes. no, they're all like annoying. Annoying, annoying, man. They're all annoying. Fans are cool, dude. They are all annoying. But I'm. I well, the first Cardinals game I ever saw was against. The Orioles. Oh, okay. Who uh, won? I went with an Orioles fan, oh. and the Cardinals won. Oh, all right. Well, so. it's their year, man. 
The Cardinals this year. I, I was. Um, I, I was, know. I agree completely. No, that it's, it's the Cardinals year. It's always the Cardinals year. Let's it's always the Cardinals let's year. Let's have a chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was looking. <coughs> excuse me. I was going to go to the championship series, but I can't. I'm not going to be here. I can't. Uh, Friday, I can't. They starts Friday. Friday, I can't Pray go. Pray for the Orioles. Saturday, I can't go. And if it goes seven, I can't go the two games. The the back half. Yeah. The I can't go to the last two games either. So, uh, so World Series it is. World Series it I'm is. Buy my ticket on StubHub now. Okay. So unless you know, does anyone have an extra? I'll buy it. I just need. I'm. Uh, hang on a second. I'll buy it. T- anybody have an extra uh, World uh, Orioles World Series ticket? Like I'll totally buy. I'll pay whatever it costs. It should be fun to go with a fan. Yeah. Rather than buy some anonymous like StubHub ticket. But, yeah. <laughs> I was looking. Uh, the, but uh, I think they're going to make it. I think they're going to make it. The I think they'll be there. I think they're yeah, they're win. playing tonight. Yeah, they're playing tonight. 9.07. Yes. Nice. I'll be home in time. All right. Nice. Yeah. All right. So There you go. What the Oh, and that is your your weird Bucky. This is Bucky. Yeah, we we completely are like fangirling over totally different Buckies. Oh, who are you fangirling over? Bucky. Bucky dead. Bucky. Hashtag Winter Soldier Bucky. Oh, Winter Soldier Bucky, yeah. Yeah, remember my like hashtag Winter Soldier no, fuck me a, that I sent you? Yes. Yeah. No, yeah. this is Bucky. Uh, Bucky is this uh, uh, this thing I discovered in Texas. It's a it's weird food chain. Not a food chain. It's a rest area, truck stop sort of, and okay. it's on freaking steroids. Yeah, it's like the coolest thing I've ever seen. It's you go in there. You've been, you've had, you've gone on a road trip, right? I you have. Had a stop. I have. Like, oh, you know, so let me see a couple rows of chips and stuff. Yeah. I think it's like a freaking mecca for road trip snacks, and the cleanest bathrooms that you'll ever see. No joke. Hmm. And their little mascot is this guy, this little Bucky Beaver. Bucky Beaver. It's him. So I should have got you one. This one's mine. I got it. It's okay. You're going to give me a testicle pussy. I'll give you a tentacle kitty. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but here, everybody say hi to Bucky. Everyone say hi to Bucky. Bucky Beaver. I'll have to bring my um, my little bobblehead uh, Colson for next week. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We all need little mascots. Yeah. We all need little mascots. We'll just you know start leaving them around the damn stash. Yeah. So S- See how many it takes before Walt gets really pissed. Yeah. So, anyways, Friday, if you're going to New York Comic Con, we have panel 11 a.m. It's always a big, big panel. So, come on out. What are you doing Friday? Uh, you working? Let me check. All right. Probably. I'm working every goddamn day. Oh, it day. sucked. Okay. Uh, I work until 7. Oh, it sucked. Okay. Yeah. Well, anyways. Sorry. If you're going to New York Comic Con, come see us. Uh, me, Bry, Walt, Mike, and Kevin. And Kevin. And Kevin. And so, Kevin. That'll be fun. And yes. then, uh Yeah. Then Sunday, I'm running the Chicago Marathon. Yes, good luck. Oh, you, real you quick. You don't need good luck. Yeah, shoot. We never talk about Airbnb. Talk about it next week. Okay. All right, because uh, basically Airbnb is uh, you go online and you can rent rooms from people. That's weird. I guess so. But it's 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 sweeping the It's kind of like an Uber for it's rooms. It's a little weird. Well, I'm shit out of luck because I booked so late and I can't find a hotel room, so I got Airbnb. And so... If I return, I should have tail. I will have tales to tell. Okay, Airbnb. Of, of me getting turned into a walrus. Nice. Yes. Uh, cheers to Fisherman's Pumpkin Stout by the uh, Cape and Brown Company. Yes. And if you see it in uh, in the store, buy it and try it. Yeah. If you see Punkachino, buy it and send it. And a big big shout out to the Alamo City Comic Con for being great hosts. Uh, big shout out to Apple, the organizer, and our man Fred, who took care of us. Yes. Huge thanks. And a, big, and a big shout out to you, Ming Chen. A big shout out to you, Samantha Q. And a big shout out to uh, to yes. everybody. Everybody. Thank you for listening. Yes, thank you for listening, guys. We will talk to you soon. Yes. This has been a production of Smodco Internet Radio. Yeah.